This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello folks, we are back with Cubicle 7. I'm here with the lovely Tim Huckleberry and joined once again by Zach Dale Clutterbuck, who you may have remember from our Victoriana video, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but we are here to play Wrath and Glory. You've got to say it that way because it's the grim dark future of the 41st millennium. Uh, and we're going to be diving into a, a particularly fantastic adventure where we're not playing your typical Imperium heroes. No, 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 no. We're playing as the biggest, baddest orcs around. And I'm playing a particularly big and bad orc called Ergot's Iron Cop, who is an orc boy. What about you, Justin? <laughs> I'm going to be playing Rastabuzz. <laughs> I was a mech boy who, well, I was in a space hulk one day and I was in a room and I hit these wires and I fell off. There you go. Tim, who are you playing? <laughs> well, right. I'm the sneakiest commander of all. I'm Snack Wrecker. And uh, yeah, looking forward to showing you you lots how to be properly sneaky on the battlefield. Sounds proper right. Boy. And joining us as well, obviously, we've got Zach there, who's going to be leading us through things and telling the story and getting us into all sorts of trouble. Uh, take it away, Zach. Sort of dive us <coughs> into the world of the grim dark future and let's see what awaits us. Before we start, I will just say I will provide throat lozenges for everyone at the end. <laughs> Sounds very good to me. <laughs> yes. Consistent orc voice. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be diving into the world of Breath and Glory and the grim dark future of the 41st millennium. We'll be heading to the, uh, the Gilead system, which is the setting for Breath and Glory. You probably know 40k is this huge, expansive and horrible world. Uh, where the, the the future of mankind is rests on the backs of millions and millions of soldiers that go out into space to fight horrible, horrible uh, Xenos and aliens, the forces of chaos uh, and other nasties using, you know, uh, bioengineering and uh, advanced weaponry that everyone's kind of forgotten how to use properly and frequently <laughs> blows up in their face. Um, but one particular corner of the Grimdark universe, a rapidly expanding fungal spore part of the universe, is uh, the Orcs. Um, and even in the Gilead system, which has been closed off from the, the rest of space by the evil warp storm known as Cicatrix Maledictum, there are a lot of Orcs. Uh, orcs, for those who don't know, are built for war pretty much literally. They are huge, hulking, uh, mean green machines, as most would say. Um, and their entire purpose, as far as they're concerned, is to get out there and fight. Um, they have a just old psychic consciousness, which is far more complicated than they could understand, but means <laughs> that um, they are in, in touch with the universe in a unique way in that where they, if, if they believe in something strong enough, they can just make it happen. They're full of self-confidence. And uh, that's pretty much how their technology works too, which is the topic <laughs> of uh, today's adventure. Um, all of you, uh, strong and brave orcs, aware of war boss Vazdrox Spiky Smasher, um, who is a gargantuan orc, and he's preparing to launch another war across the Gilead system in search of uh, supplies. Um, he actually made his name of Spiky Smasher by destroying uh, enroaching Chaos Space Marines. Oh. Um, which to all of you orcs are just big humies with spikes coming out of them uh, that seem to know about demons but are really good for getting into a scrap with. Um, <laughs> of course, half of the force or more was destroyed in the last battle against them. And um, that's right, acceptable. <laughs> more than acceptable because yeah. you had a really good fight. Some of you uh, may have had some very serious injuries in those fights and might have some um, bionic parts, perhaps <laughs> made by our uh, mech Krushak Rustabus. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've been doing the rounds and replacing any arms, <laughs> eyes, or other parts <laughs> that came off in battle. Um, well, I mean, I had to replace one arm, but I gave him a nice big claw. Okay. Perfect. Let's go for picking love things it, up. Love it. Better for crushing and for killing. So the only things that anyone does. Um, <laughs> but you are not the only uh, mech uh, in the employ of uh, Vazdrox Spiky Smasher. 
Um, as orcs are wont to do, all of you were kind of swept up in a vast wave of aggression across the Gilead system and kind of fell in behind the larger, more powerful war boss. Um, and another mech, uh, big mech mad spanners, is actually his uh, right hand orc, which is handy because his right hand is also a power claw. <laughs> um, not and he, not, not quite as good as yours, but uh, if you say that in front of him, he might try and squeeze your head off. So we'll see what happens. Um, but he, Mad Spanners has been asked to put together some bigger dacker and more trucks for the boys uh, by Faz Drug Spiky Smasher. So he's come up with a cunning plan. Um, there how, is, cunning, how cunning is it? Well, uh, <laughs> he's actually um, summoned uh, the lot of you uh, and a whole bunch of other orcs um, who are kind of hangers on, uh, basically by uh, banging two bits of scrap metal together. Um, you're currently sailing through space on a rock, which is basically a, an amalgamation of scrap metal and technology the orcs have found and a big asteroid. And um, he's pointed out each of you specifically to and kind of motioned you over while banging this thing and basically says oi, oi, boys i've heard you're uh, pretty tough right boss yeah yeah boys. listen i need some more scrap i've been building trucks and stuff but um i think uh, we're not going to have enough and those units they've got so much you see the red planet over there? Oh. Yeah. It, Big it, old it, spiky it. ring around it. Uh-huh. Right. There's them, them, them humies what's covered in cogs and all those good gubbins down there. Oh, oh them Mickey uh, boys. The little Mickey boys. The red the ones. Little Mickey. Oh, you uh. know. Yes. That's right, Krushak. That's why you yes. <clears throat> Now, I've... I'd have thought that if I use some of the scrap and other gubbins and stuff to send you down there, we can get more scrap. It's like, it's like an investment of teeth, you see? You put some down, and that comes back to you more later. All right. That's, that's brilliant, boss. I know you don't understand, but trust me, this is going to work. Right. I saw they got some big dacker down here. Can, can if I you believe in it? It will work, boss. All right, all right, all right. So, I've got a real sneaky lander, and I need a commando to take it down there. Oi, oi, I, 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 I could do that, boss. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Oh, all right. Real, <laughs> boss. There's, there's big, big trucks down there that the humans built, and if you can get down there, and raid one of them before they notice what's going on. We can get loads of scrap and get out, build up some big trucks, and then go kill them all. It's and, time uh, for a fight. Let's get Louis. Uh, as he says that, just the word kill, and you can hear and see uh, some of the orcs around you that weren't even paying attention to the conversation just start getting a little bit riled up, and you can actually see one throw a punch at the other one knocking a three, uh, <laughs> like a bunch of teas to the ground um, and a couple of grots kind of scrabble around at their feet. Um, but not too many uh, other orcs pay much mind to that. Some of them are quite keen to see the fight, but you've got bigger things on your mind. <clears throat> right, yeah. Did I have a mind? <laughs> <laughs> it, it could, could literally be sitting on your mind. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. So you're going to be crumping some tin can humies. But I need as much quality scrap as you can grab. That's why I'm trusting you, Krushak, to be able to rip it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got me blowtorch. And who's you? Who's you? Is you Iron Gob? Yeah, I'm Iron Gob. Uh, uh, As long as I've got something to eat, I'm fine. All right? You know, point me in the direction and I'll crump them. Uh, uh, Yeah. All look, right. look, and we're being all sneaky like, you just crump them while I'm cutting beats off, yeah? Yeah, I could cause the big, I think they called it distraction, and then see what else happens, right? Well, it sounds like you lads have got a good plan. Uh, You're yeah. all good boys. 
I'll leave you to it. Um, and he kind of stops, uh, he, he stops and turns around and uh, immediately grabs a, like a large welder from a grot that was holding it, uh, tests it a couple of times, and then tests it on the grot to make sure it works. <laughs> <laughs> so he's fire, and then stalks off, um, pointing over his shoulder to a lander that's guarded by a couple of his other grots. Um, as you look back at the little fight that was happening behind you, you can see that um, the orc that was originally pu uh, punched is still lying on the ground and a couple of orcs are just around him smashing his head, <laughs> which is little more than, than paste at this point. Um, there's still bits of flesh and green, but they're literally smashing with one hand and pulling out teeth with the other. Um, the economy's in shambles around here. Uh, <laughs> they really need you guys to go and do something good for them. As as we, as folks are walking over towards the lander, uh, Iron Gob goes over to his chest that's sort of like an old munitions chest that says Iron Gob's keep out on it. And in like a montage, he's like strapping his guns on and putting things in. But to everyone else, he just like he looks like he's doing it really slowly. <laughs> <laughs> And they're like, oh. <laughs> I think I what think Rust about... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'd, I'd like to hear all of your <laughs> powerful montages. <laughs> well, while he's doing that, Rustabuzz is basically going to go up to the, the welded grot, just pick it up and start snacking on it. He likes it. Some <laughs> just, just watch him while munching on an arm. <laughs> and, Snack is going to be. Practicing his stealth, just sort of sneaking about, and, and and totally oblivious to the fact that everyone is noticing him sneaking about. <laughs> he's very, very sure that he's the sneakiest at work on board, and is get, getting getting his uh his power claw all like chunk 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 chunk, sharpening up a little bit. All right then, I think all of you are basically doing acts of kind of bigging yourselves up and yeah. trying to get ready. Um, usually when people are kind of preparing for the fight and things like that in a game like Wrath and Glory, um, they'd maybe be making uh, different kinds of tests. Um, but as you're all orcs and the way you describe the things that you were doing are fundamentally the same, I'll ask each of you for a intimidation check um, yeah. because that's something you're all uh, decently good at as orcs. And I think that um, with uh, Iron Gob, uh Essentially, what he's doing is performing in a way that makes himself look and feel <laughs> Um Snackwrecker is basically intimidating people into not seeing him, as far as I can tell, just by looking tough enough. <laughs> and uh, Krushak, I think what you're doing is fundamentally um, intimidating to all the grots that are around you. <laughs> so uh, the you. way that um, tests work in Wrath and Glory is it's always a pool of uh, D6 dice. Uh, to demonstrate here, I have the D6s from the very, very nice... Uh, Soulbound starter set because the Wrath of Glory one still isn't out yet. Um, but it's always a pool of dice where you add an attribute and a skill together. Uh, that determines how many you roll. So, for example, for Krushak, I believe for Intimidation, you are rolling five dice because you have an Intimidation rating of two. And um, Intimidation is ooh, based on willpower. Um, so, Snackcracker, yours is... Can you see it on there? If it's not been filled in, then you just use the base attribute, which in your case would be willpower. And mine is and three, I believe. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And so it's only a DN2 test. So oh. that means you need to get two successes to pass. Do we get to use our Orky ability? One plus, plus one bonus die for intimidation tests? You absolutely do. Yeah. Yes. All orcs are good at intimidation. So when you roll your dice, the results that you are looking for are four, five, or six. A four or a five <coughs> on the dice counts as a single success, and a result of six counts as two successes. Cool. So I got a, a five and a five, so that's two successes. So. Nice. So you have passed the test. In my slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll be rolling six dice, is it? Because of my intimidation of five. I also have a willpower of three. Does that change it? 
Um, for Krushak, so your total is five if you add your um, your willpower and your intimidation rate rating. Together, yeah. um, but because you're orky, you get a you bonus get a dice, so it's six. Impressive. Uh, so I get two successes. Nice. And how did you do Snackcracker? Uh, I... <clears throat> As much as I think I'm intimidating, I'm not. So I'm just rolling on the power, <laughs> uh, which is two plus one bonus die because I'm an orc. Whoa. Uh, I got a six and a four and a five on the wrath die. Very, very nice. So we're not going to deal with wrath die just yet um, okay. because it's your first <clears throat> test, but that'll come in on the second one. Okay. Um, so yeah, lots of successes. Lots of successes. So as you were all intimidating as a group, uh, you'll get your group will gain um, one point of glory, Sweet. which you can use later on in the game um, to improve uh, what happens in okay. tests. Best, better yet, we get to argue over how we're going to use it <laughs> later on. <laughs> there is so uh, glory is a group resource that you can spend to improve the results of uh, tests. Um, Usually in the game, there is an optional rule that uh, if you disagree with each other, it can have um, a consequence about how to use it. As we're orcs, I think that we should encourage <laughs> arguments. So we won't be playing with that. Whoever was the loudest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Please no. I have to make a video. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. um, if you're all done with your preparations, you've got all your yep. gear together, mm -hmm. um, then you'll all jump aboard uh, the Smasher, an Orc cruiser, um, and head down to the sun side of the planet below on a lander craft. Um, nice. And uh, essentially, uh, it's explained to you as you're on here in very scrunchy ways that um, they're going to drop you off and you've got to grab as much scrap as you can before the lander leaves. Um, as you're hurtling uh, with some direction through space, um, there's a lot of rocket propulsion and not a lot of control, but you are definitely heading towards the, the red planet that's far below you. <laughs> um, as you get closer, you can see that it is um, covered in small uh, blinking lights from this distance. And you can see um, the evidence of uh, Humi technology. Um, lots of lights um, and blasted red planes everywhere. Um, if you cared about biology at all, you'd probably surmise that this planet had been completely destroyed by the ravages of industry. Um, but more importantly, you can see that there's definitely big piles of scrap around. Um, and uh, attending to those, as you get closer and closer, you can see huge machines um, that look to be uh, piloted. You can barely see the pilots from this distance as you're hurtling closer and closer. But it seems to be a combination of um, people with uh, a lot of uh, gubbins in their faces, like barely recognizable as humies at all, um, wearing red robes. And they seem to be uh, instructing and doing various rituals you don't understand uh, with um, very pallid looking uh, other humans that seem to be wired directly into these machines. Um, Krushak, you find this idea particularly interesting um, uh, as they seem to have no limbs or... <laughs> Um, okay then, so, uh, would you guys like to take any of your time kind of hurtling towards this planet to make a cunning plan? Right, right. yeah. Right. We need to check and see if we've got a buggy, because we're going to need a buggy to get more scrap. Buggy? Down here? It's all the, it's all the crumpy humans. Although there might be one left from the last, what, last fight, I suppose. Oh, no, no, there, uh, there might be one on here. And I'm just well, going to backhand the orc boy who's being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can take a looks around for one, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a proper orky one, though. These human ones are just too delicate. They just fall apart. I know. We I lose know. some scrap on them and they'll collapse. Me. I'm going to have a look in the lander to see if there's maybe an orc buggy on here. Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a investigation 
test. I, am, I believe you have one dice for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a proper orky investigation. You got a five. Yeah. Nice. Well, so uh, unfortunately, the, the the DN was two on this one oh, oh, with a six. Okay. But as you're kind of rummaging around the inside of this thing, which is like a combination between a scrap heap and a smaller asteroid, um, you're kind of slapping smaller grots out of the way who are assisting the piloting. <coughs> um, and uh, you find just some scrap and debris that is loosened over the period of this flight. Um, and uh, you think you could put it together using your your mech boy skills, i.e. a couple of rivets, to make something that you can drag along behind you and potentially carry more scrap with. I'll do. Yeah. I, I will I will build a a grot powered buggy of some form. <laughs> <laughs> as, as he's doing that, uh, Iron Gobs turns around to Snake Wrecker and he's like, well, use the cunning one, you know, with all your creepy black stuff all over your face and everything, sneaking around, you know, going around, stabbing people in the back. You should lead us. And then when all the stuff goes bad, just send me in. I think that sounds about right. Right. That's a good cutting plan. Yeah. Quite, quite like that cutting part, especially, especially the part about you going in and getting all us while I stand back and get all the glory. Yeah. I could, I could, that's a good, 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 good kind of plan. I do like that one. You oh, all do all the work and get all get all shot up. I'll stand back. I'll do all the good stuff. I'll tell the boss it was all me did all the good stuff. Yeah, that's that's a right good kind of plan. Yeah, like that. All, all good Iron thinking. Gob, all Iron Gob heard was, you've chosen a good plan. You're going to get all the glory. <laughs> good <laughs> and boy. So he, <laughs> and so he's now looking out of one of the terribly windowed holes in the lander just waiting <laughs> to, to <learn. laughs> uh, snack snack is, is thinking though it's like oh right if they die too quick that'd be bad for me so i'm, I'm gonna use my cunning plan ability i'm gonna give them some some war right elemental skills in being not too stupid about being sneaky so that they'll be a little bit more sneaky than they normally be Oh, Which uh, basically gives you a uh, plus rank bonus die when you're doing stealth tests. If if right. you're within uh, about 15 meters of me, so we stay next to you, I'd get some bonuses to my stealth. That's pretty good. That's how, yeah. Right, right in front. Just be ready to catch them bullets when they come at you. Then, then fancy ray guns from the Mechie boys over there. Yeah, right in front of you. Stop with the bullets, smashing the Umis. Yes, I I heard correctly. Yes, good yeah. cunning plan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, can everyone please give me a, a DN? Oh, actually, <laughs> I need to make sure this isn't impossible for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fairly sure it isn't. Yeah, can you give me a DN3 uh, awareness test, please? Oh, right. That's That's two dice well. for me. Yeah. Three. Oh, uh, I got a one on the wrath dice <laughs> and, oh. and, no, and no successes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, right. Myself. Oh, very good. I'm on the wrath. Uh, so I've got a uh, four and a five and a six uh, for the dice and just a whole four on the wrath. Okay. So, so quite nice. The way that the wrath dice works is essentially one dice in every pool uh, is a different color, and it counts the same as all the other dice uh, for the purposes of um, getting successes or failures. Uh, the only difference is if the wrath dice rolls uh, a one, then it's a complication, and it's an opportunity to add a little bit of <laughs> disaster to the scene. And if you roll a six, then it's uh, you get a little bonus. It might be something narrative, or it might be you can earn a point of glory or a point of wrath. Um, it's really malleable based on how the GM mm -hmm. feels. So, as um, our, uh, our our fated boy uh, Sky and Gob has rolled a uh, a complication, uh, have you got any ideas for things that could go wrong or be inconvenient for you? Um, 
I, I think he's become so blinkered by what his lovely cunning buddy has said that he, he's interpreting every single thing he's saying as this is the way you should do it and you're doing it better. So I don't think he's going to benefit from the cunning plan um, bonus that he was going to get from his lovely friend. <laughs> I think that's perfect. Yeah. You, you, you're going to stand in front of him stealthily. You're exactly. going to provide the cover. That's, that's exactly. a good, cunning plan. And big Very noises good. made by me mean Snackracker doesn't get seen. That's that's the way he's thinking. <laughs> I, I hide behind another orc. They never see me, and therefore there are no orcs to be seen. <laughs> I only see one oak. Oh, it works right. quite well, quite nice. <laughs> There's twice as many as anyone thought there were. That's or even more kind of. So well, they're counting get... to twice. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> did anyone get three or more on that uh, test? Ah, right. Okay, then. So you notice that, like, amongst the um, or the grots, this is just you, Krushak. You notice that, like, there's some rustling going on, um, just kind of in, in, in amongst the scrap that make up part of the ship. Um, you're not sure what it was, but you could hear a little bit more iron scraping on rusted iron than you're used to in these situations. And um, Snackwrecker, you notice that it's almost certainly time for you to actually grab the reins of this thing and start piling it, piling it down. Like the, the retro thrusters have fired you off of the rock and you are hurtling towards the planet below. But um, unless someone guides this thing in, uh, there <laughs> might not be much of you left to actually do the smashing <laughs> and grabbing. Oh, uh, I look around a bit. Uh, uh, any of you lot actually fly this thing? Look, uh, they pull the big red lever when we're near the ground. Oh, is that all? Um, can can we actually see out, or is it basically? Uh, can we like see the ground coming hurtling towards us very quickly? Uh, the ground is coming towards pretty fast. <laughs> and oh, if you right, look around, where's, it, where's, it, where's that red lever you're talking about? Uh, with your awareness check, you get awareness test rather, you can see that there is indeed like a command console with a bunch ah. of buttons of different sizes. You can see that like. Some of them uh, are clearly ripped from Humi tech. Um, there's a couple of really uh, elegant and weird looking, kind of offensive to you, um, almost uh, natural looking things that have just been stuck and hammered in there. And there's even a few things that look like Humi tech that's been warped and wrong um, that you think that you might have gotten during a Spiky Smash's uh, mini war against the forces of chaos. Um, it's not particularly intuitive a layout, uh, but anyone that wants to make a pilot test can. I'd recommend it. Right. Well, I one of us got to fly this thing. Um, I, I will. I want. I'll, I'll step up and and just start looking it over and trying to figure out which buttons I should press. Um, I'm just going to keep an eye on them over my shoulder while I'm still building the. The wee I'm, buggy. <laughs> I'm rolling a total of one die. Oh, Iron Gob's going to look over his shoulder <laughs> uh, and see if he can help him because the whole cunning plan rests on Snapwrecker. Yes. So he's going to help him out in this. As well all as part can. of the cunning plan. <laughs> all right, then. So, Snapwrecker, you're actually rolling, unless I've got the wrong character sheet here, you should have an agility of three. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. Yes, you're correct. I'm not as bad as I thought I was. You're naturally uh, dexterous as you're used to sneaking around and being cool. Oh, uh, um, okay. So, yes, I got uh, two successes um, and a one, but only on a regular die. Right. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, that um, could have been a fun complication. So, so I'm uh, hunting around for the biggest uh, red button to press because pressing red buttons is always a good thing. Okay, then. Or red um, lever or anything red. Before we do the results of this, um, Ergot, <laughs> how are you planning on uh, helping? Uh, so moral he, support? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's been on one of these before, and he's trying to remember what the other commando pulled last time, basically. That's what he's trying to do. So, 
Okay, then. Um, with that, I'll let you roll, I guess it's your kind of your experience of being on one of these things. I'll let you roll another two dice cool. and add any results from that to um, Snack Rex roll. That's sure. how help works. Basically, I'm taking your um, intelligence and uh, adding it on a dice. Uh, so I got one success there, so I got one four. There you go. There you go. So what's the, the total there, Tim? Three, then. Up to three now, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you are pressing the big red button. I was looking for one, yes, because that would be my that'd be the first thing I would look for is something red. Because we want to go faster, but in the other direction. Yeah, you kind of you you are picking out something and then you just see a very appealing blinking red button and you smash down on it as hard as you can with your fist. Uh your fist actually breaks the button. And you can feel not just the the glass dome of the button itself shattering, but also it going through the console. <laughs> and um, a few <laughs> klaxons immediately start to go off. You get a mild shock, but it's not too yeah, bad. It's quite nice. Um, the other grots that are in here kind of panic and start to run around. And you can feel that um, a few thrusters in different directions are firing on the outside of your lander. Um, I, Iron Gob shouts at the top of his voice, Don't worry, lads, it's just the landing alarm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Yeah. and> you, <laughs> you do uh, hit the ground with some force um, and kind of bounce along it and seem to uh, skid through the, the kind of red dirt of this planet, uh, kind of tumbling over a few rocks and things like that. Um, and come to a halt. Uh, you look around you and notice that quite a few of the grots seem to be uh, dead. Um, they've been smashed in by the impact. Um, but looking out the window from your kind of tumble down state, uh, you can see that there is a large um, kind of, uh, it looks like a scrap um, harvester made by the Humies that's not too far away. Um, if anyone would like to see what the state of the ship is, they can make a tech test. I'll give that a bash. Iron God cares not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll get six for that. Nice. Um, do I get any bonuses for being a McCoy? I'm a mechanic, so I get plus one bonus die to any tech uh, test. So I will roll Average. seven die. Nice. Come on. Ooh. So I got two sixes, two fives, a two, a two, and a three on the wrath. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's a lot. Um, actually, with that, so um, this is a good time to introduce another mechanic that's in this game called shifting where if you beat the difficulty of the test, you can actually shift a six to activate all the effects mm. um, that could be, sorry, I just need to get those up here. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten nearly all of them. I know you can half the amount of time it takes to do something. Um, but what else can you do? I'll explain this again properly in a second. So you can shift a dice, uh, so any six that you don't need to actually finish the test, to gain information, improve the quality of what you're doing, or improve the speed of what you're doing. Now, uh, and if you're using it on an attack, you can also get extra damage. Um, in this case, you've actually done so well that um, you could have shifted both of them. Um, but as time isn't really of the essence just yet, um, I'll say that you have diagnosed the uh, the lander with broken. Um, <laughs> How'd you break a button? <laughs> Why? But you, uh, using your mechanic skills, um, are actually able to patch it up, and you think you'll be able to launch this thing again. Um, you can see that there are a, a, a few grots that are still kind of here, um, and they're saying, uh, oh, we're, we, we can't stay for too long or, the, or, or we'll get killed by the Humies. There's so many of them on this planet. 
look, you lot stay here. We're getting the bits and the gubbins and then we'll be back. And if we're not here, when you get back, uh, if you're not here, when I get back, I'm going to eat every last one of you. All right, all right, yeah. Um, you don't need to make an intimidation check. There is no way. <laughs> like, a brat would not respond to that with abject fear, especially <laughs> surrounded by the, the bodies of their comrades. Um, you can still hear that there's like a strange noise in the scrap uh, to one side of the, the lander, the part that was more for storage. Um, and you think a couple of groans. Uh, Iron God's going to stomp over and root around in it to see what's making the noise. Because it's probably a grot that he needs to reprimand. So, uh, Yeah, you start just ripping off bits of this thing, uh, not really caring about whether it's important to the actual structure of the ship or not. And um, as you kind of rip through, you see um, a big green body. Uh, and a very, very bright red light that seems to shoot off in different directions, like uh, something used to distract some kind of Terran feline. Um, and you see the pain boy that you know, whose name is Thruk Fizguts, kind of groaning. Uh, Iron God just goes, Fizguts! And grabs him and pulls him out of the, out of the, out of the scrap. <laughs> And uh, Thruk immediately pushes off you, just gives you like a regular kind of uh, hello punch. Um, and kind of says, oh, I, you thought you'd get away here without me. I'm going to get all the scrap and I'm going to get all the glory. Oh, yeah, that's fine by me. Come on, fish cats. We've got what else to do. Come on. <laughs> hey, I'm not coming with you. I'm doing this my way. What do you mean? I'm getting the glory. Fast oh. should see me overuse. Oh, uh, uh, but, uh, but the glory's mine. The glory's going to be mine. And he starts stalking off and you can see him picking up to a run and heading towards uh, one of the other servo haulers that seems to be quite nearby the machine that you were, you were closest to <laughs> and a different pile of scrap. Iron, Iron Gob's going to run out of the, the back of the lander and he's like... Boys, we need to go quick. We need to go to that one and get as much scrap as possible. That bloody pain boy, Fizz, Fizz Gats, is trying to nick us, all, nick us all. Get off here with all these lovely stuff. He's going. Oh. And uh, as if to uh, reinforce your point, you can uh, hear Throok shouting over his shoulder, I'm going to get all the scrap and leave you on this blasted rock. Oh, God. Right now. Show of stupid pain boy. Come on, lads. Yeah. All right. Which way are you Let going? Are you going to go wagon. after him? <laughs> yeah, you can get your wagon. Um, you, uh, you've got a wagon that's working. Let's go fill up a scrap. Iron Gob is like someone who needs to pee. He's like, <laughs> he's really eager and he's just following <laughs> Snack Wrecker around. <laughs> I'm just going right. to yoke the wagon over the shoulders yeah. <laughs> and just start trudging after you. Bloody pain right, boys. We're going we're to we're yeah, be right sneaky so coming. nobody doesn't notice us. Yes. Sneaky. Right. Okay. Sneaky but fast. The, yeah. Which of the haulers are we heading to? The one that the pain boy is going to or are we going to the other one? Whichever one Snake Wrecker has decided, I'll we'll, we'll go to that one. So the 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 one that the pain boy is running towards is a little bit further away. Um, the one that he's not going towards is closer. The closer one means more scrap quicker. Uh, so we go right, there. yes. Yeah. We, we, we can arrange some nice surprises for our pain boy and Bucko when he comes back with his scrap. Yeah. Oh, we just take his strap. We nick it. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, then. Uh, Crusher, can I just ask, how is the, um, the wagon actually constructed? So it's basically a twin arm contraction. Like uh, you've seen uh, the arms come forward and there's like a yoke on the front that can just hook onto my shoulders so my hands are still free. And right. it's just feeling really behind me with like two wheels. Mm, I was picturing like some kind of grot propulsion device where they're in the wheels. <laughs> <and forced laughs> the grots are the wheels. 
Yeah. We could do that way. I'm 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 happy to harness up some grots. <laughs> I'm, I think there are just grots around. You definitely managed to intimidate one to follow you. It's not going to be yeah. much use. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So you're heading towards the uh, first of the servo haulers. Um, what's your method of uh, approach, Snakecracker? Well, all right. We're going to be kind of sneaky. We're going to look around a bit. We're going to move forward. But we're going to keep moving forward because we've got to go fast. But we're going to maybe not pull out the weapons just yet and start shooting up everything, which is a normal plan. We could be right quiet about this until we doesn't need to be quiet no more. All right, then. Um, so can everyone please give me a stealth test? Cool. And everybody gets a bonus die plus one plus rank bonus die to their stealth test except for ergot's iron god yes <laughs> Four. Uh, so i got one success there so i got the goose egg nada oh dear Nothing. oh here the i only lion. got two i only got two out of all the dice <laughs> i was rolling for stealth just very sad uh, no, no, um, I don't think any complications could make this any worse. They could, <laughs> the DN on this one was three. Um, oh, no, no. So as you're kind of uh, moving through the, the kind of rocky, blasted terrain, uh, it's completely lifeless. Um, you're, you're moving oh, through actually, and you're... Oh. No, 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 nothing. Uh, um, um, a question before we go on. Could we glory this? Oh, that's a good idea. That's Will that help at all? We have any, it's it's a moment when things might go wrong. So if there's a use for glory, you know, glory, yeah, might be the so time you to use it. Actually, use wrath or glory. Um, so each of you has uh, two points of wrath at the start of the adventure, mm. and you can spend wrath to re-roll all of the dice that failed. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yes, please. Um, I will do and if you. Thing. If you want to spend glory, um, you can only spend glory before a standard test to add extra dice. You can spend it spend, after you do an attack, though. I will spend one of my wrath, then. Because mm, yeah. I have a lot of failed dice. Uh, two success. Two oh, success. sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So make that. Uh, and, uh, so on wrath, I got six. Does that do anything? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, I got that as well. Oh, very, very good. So when you roll a wrath critical, you uh, add one point of glory to the group's pool for each one of those. Nice. nice. So we're up to three then. Right. Right? You are up to yeah. three glory. That's and fine. so I got a total of. Uh, Four, five, six successes. Six successes, wow. And uh, so, yes, I definitely want to shift. Um, and I'll use a shift to, uh, let's improve our speed. We will try to get over to that other uh, pile of scrap a little faster. Excellent. I, um, I used my wrath to do a reroll as well and managed to get to exactly dead dead on three. <laughs> so I got a six and a four. So I got, I got to three. So... <laughs> Okay. Cool. Well, that is enough for uh, everyone. So essentially what happens is you all come steaming out of this lander craft um, and you start like hunkering down as you know how to be cunning and you can feel the excitement building and then you almost build up into a sprint and Snakewrecker manages to calm everyone down with the promise <laughs> of more bloodshed if, they, if you manage to be sneaky all the way there. Uh -huh. um, and you kind of creep up and you are in a kind of uh, a scrap area and you can see like the, the scrap piled around you. You're navigating through it. And um, as you're trying to get to the shiniest and sharpest of the gubbins, you do notice that there are quite a few of the kind of cog boy humies around. And um, in addition to them, there are a few humies with like... Uh, it looks like they've kind of tried to do a, a big claw, but they've not done very good. It looks like it'd be better at squeezing than it would be for cutting. Oh. Squeezing and lifting, but no good for like a cutting and smashing. 
Oh, they got those crabbers. I like yeah. crabbers. Umi's can't do crabbers. nothing right. He's got a proper claw. No, 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 no. I like grabbers. I like grabbers. Grabbers are good. So none of them have noticed you yet since you managed to be so cunning and sneaky. Um, so you have a chance to harvest some scrap from this area if you would like to. Right, yes. yes. Grab some scrap. So like, you can get the beach, either... in the wagon. <laughs> Bits in the wagon. Um, you can make either a tech test or a weapon skill test. So tech test is basically pulling everything apart, and weapon skill is just smashing stuff until you find something you like. Well, I mean, right. Iron I'll Gobs be smashing. Good, Iron Gobs is good oh, no. at smashing, so... <laughs> seven, seven dice, clearly it's a tech test for me. <laughs> Ooh. But that's right. spicy. Uh, four successes. There you go. I have good Gosh. news and I have bad news. <laughs> the good news is I got two regular sixes, a five. However, my wrath dice got a one. <laughs> wah, wah. Oh no. Okay. So I, uh, yeah, the me and my, my main boy, we're grabbing scrap like crazy. I got three successes. Nice. Do we so, hear like something beeping or? <laughs> So I think I'm going to risk this just because it's a bad time, so I'm going to re-roll the seven. There you go. I'm yeah. going to risk it for a biscuit. That's better. So I got uh, a six, a five, and a four on the Wrath dice this time. So not as successful, but it's at least not a complication. Yeah, as you're actually, like, you're taking things apart quite deftly, um, you're only having to resort to smashing things, like, one in three times, so you think of it as a nice we hit, we like those. And you actually feel the entire heap start to collapse, and you realize you've been making so much progress and grabbing bits that you've kind of tunneled under it. <laughs> and it could have caused an avalanche, but you very quickly kind of reach behind you and shove a bit of scrap in to prop up the whole mountain. Um, Wait, get it. How this? <laughs> Better yet, just grab the grot, make the grot. <laughs> the support. It's just there. <laughs> oh, thanks, boys. Thanks, boys. Um, <laughs> And uh, the other two of you have managed to hack up a load of bits of what you think is pretty good looking scrap. Um, it's right shiny. Yeah, I'd say you've got a decent bit of scrap. So you've got, um, yeah, a decent amount of scrap. You think that the wagon is about a quarter full, but you think that um, if you carry on harvesting in this area, then you're going to attract attention eventually. You should either try and get somewhere else, or you can keep going here and just kill everyone so there's no one to notice you. How many Yumi's are here? Uh, make an awareness test. Okay. Uh, awareness, so three dice. I'm not out of wrath. Take a look around as well. Yeah, anyone can make what they'd like to. Uh, so I got a six, but I also got a one on the wrath this time. <laughs> The dice guys want a complication. I they definitely do. <laughs> I got no successes, but no ones, so it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and how did you do? Tim? Four. You got a four. So, Snakecracker kind of moves up to the top of uh, one of these piles of scrap and has a look around and quickly identifies that um, there are uh, three of the kind of uh, taller. Um, Gubbins boys that have like red robes and it seems like they've got long rifles um, and there are uh, six of the kind of um, slower looking grabber claw boys uh, unfortunately as he scrambles up to the top and identifies all of these um, Krushak climbs up alongside him and just goes Oi, what's going on here? and uh, accidentally <laughs> sets off the avalanche um, you hear a brief ah! and a squelching noise as the rock <laughs> is flattened. Um, <laughs> but you also see that the avalanche covers up. Let's have a look here. Uh, ah, only one, unfortunately. One of the, um, the grabber humies 
is completely destroyed by the pile of scrap. Um, and the remaining ones look up at you. Um, and you can feel several, uh, you'd say bionic, they'd say augmentic eyes. Um, <laughs> just look towards you. What would you like to do? <sighs> How many of them are there in front of us, sorry? Because uh, Iron Gob was, uh, was obsessed with the collapsing <laughs> strap. <laughs> So Snakecracker saw that there were uh, three um, Gubbins boys. Uh, I'll just call them what they are, Skatari. Yeah. There's three Skatari and there are now uh, five servitors. Uh, Iron Gob looks at Snakecracker, grins, <laughs> <laughs> and then charges the nearest one with his chopper. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm... Going it's to turn. Part, of the, part of the plan. <laughs> right, Mac boy, be useful. Take the scrap back to the. the just so, how long will it, it take us? To, I'm uh, sticking out of the character. Obviously, I mean, I guess the do we want to take back what we've got, or do we want to fill up the the cart and then go back? Well, I, I think they've seen us, so we need to scrap them first. Really? Oh, All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I'm scrap. whipping out the the it's, it's always time for a good scrap. All right. You hear like a quick hiss of static. Um, I don't think we can treat this as a surprise round. <laughs> I think you surprised <laughs> the servitor, um, but that is about it. So let's do initiative order. So you guys will go first. The way that initiative works in Wrath and Glory is that it is alternating. So you guys will go first and decide which one of you will uh, take their turn, and then it'll be the NPC's turn, and then it'll be your turn, and alternate back and forth until all of the individuals in the combat have taken a turn. So in this case, it'll mean I will get several turns in a row as I'm controlling all of these um, servitors and um, Skitari, but you get to go first. Uh, do you mind if Iron Gold goes first as he tries to smash I, this I, nearest servitor? <laughs> I would say you uh, definitely led the charge. Yeah. So Iron Gob is going to see the... Uh, am I within charge range of one of these little servitors? Oh, absolutely. You can actually um, run alongside the, the avalanche itself oh, and okay. uh, <laughs> use that as some of the, the momentum. So watching one get crushed as you charge forwards, you can uh, charge into another one. Um, so make a... I believe it actually has your dice pool for each of your attacks it does, on yes. your sheets. Uh, but you so get to I'm, add another plus one because you're charging. Yes, because I've got Furious Charge, which is oh, pretty bad. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, then, so that's so that would be six, and that's up to eight dice, which is pretty awesome. Um, and, oh, I've got uh, a WAG weapon as well, which gives me something as well, doesn't it? Uh, yes. That on? Let me just look at WAG. So WAG gives me another bonus attack dice to, as well. So does that another one added to that? Yep. Oh, That's my days. Oh. <laughs> hey, you might think, like, it was very hard for you to do all those tests. Orcs weren't really built for those things. <laughs> this is what they were made to do. Yeah. Right. Here we oh, go. Okay. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. That's five successes. Nothing fancy on the raft dice, though. So there we go. All right, then. Did you get any sixes? Because the I, defense of a servitor is only one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I did get a six. So, sorry. So I got six and then five, four, four, four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six in total, actually. There we go. All right. You definitely hit. And you can shift that uh, six over to give you an extra ED, which is an Ooh. extra damage dice. So are you using your uh, chain my, chopper? My chain chopper, yes. So it Wrap it up. Yeah, so it is nine damage normally, but then I've got the extra... So there's four ED normally, plus the one I got for the shifting. Is that right? Yes, yeah? that's right. So they're all and the five dice. I get an extra one because of war, because it adds an additional ED as well. So there we go. So I'm loving this. Right, let's... <laughs> Let's see how many average extra damage I do. Uh, so is it still four, fives, and sixes with this, yeah, with the extra damage? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so that's two sixes and two fives, but do sixes just count as regular successes with this, or are they count? Uh, they count as two. They count as two. Oh, wow. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six extra damage on top of that. 
Uh, so that's 15 damage in total to this guy. <laughs> nice. Also, just for future reference, um, this weapon is brutal, oh, which means that uh, threes and fours count as ones, and fives and sixes count as twos. So their yeah. brutal weapons are slightly better. The archetypical uh, brutal weapon is the, the bolter because of the explosive uh, yeah, yeah. rounds. Uh-huh. Uh, but this is definitely a brutal attack. And... Um, <laughs> As we're just doing theater of the mind here, and we're going to try and treat these as a mob, which is like a, a, a GM mechanic in Wrath and Glory for running kind of mass scale battles. Um, you cleave through uh, two of these servitors. You uh, rev up the um, the chain chopper in your charge, and as the smell of gasoline and probably all the dangerous chemicals <laughs> fills your nostrils. You just go all the way through this servitor and then just continue charging forward as you're bisecting it into another one. Uh, and, and as he's, as he's doing charge. it, Iron Gob just says, Cunning Pad! <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then. That is the uh, first sort of combat over. Um, let me just make a quick note here. Uh, well, Iron things. Gob is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two intelligence. I, he does. He does. I, Iron Gob is basically Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> He's not to, bad at all. I need to make another note um, to rewatch Predator and see <laughs> for adventures. Jump on, do it now. So that's uh, three of the servitors now dead, which means there's only three left, and there are three Skitari. And uh, the three Skitari are going to take their action because now they are uh, frightened-ish. Um, you can see them kind of turn to each other. You can hear this loud in the air that seems to be broken up with a little bit of... And uh, it seems right. You lost. Speak up. <laughs> <laughs> and and they all turn their very elegant, like part wooden, uh, part quite exotic metals rifles, to bear on Ergot's iron gun. And Ooh. they are going to fire. It's all good. I've got resilience ten. This will be fine. <laughs> Really strong. Let's see how they do. So as they're all firing together, the way that mobs work is that they can add plus one for each of them to the dice pool. Um, and their ballistic skill, which they will use to shoot this gun, is eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, so six, I've six, got a defense of two. So. I think they're probably going to hit them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Gob needs, needs a pain boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they do hit, but they have also rolled a complication. Oh, okay. So Iron Gob, if there is anything that you would like to have for this complication, I have a few suggestions, but if you have something that you think would be fun, then... Uh, let's say that, um, the, like, the falling scrap that he, like, surfed down effectively, an extra bit of that scrap, it flies towards them and sort of hits one of them in the face or something and maybe disrupts, <laughs> disrupts their, their comms or, or something like that or does some damage or something, something like that, yeah. Yeah, we'll see that it actually flies off, hits one of them in the head, like, through the gun, and they actually drop their weapon briefly. Um, and you can hear, uh, it sounds like, uh, this is not something the characters would understand, but like angry dialogue, very, very briefly, <laughs> um, as it falls to the ground. Um, yeah. You do see like a splash of, um, it looks like very dark Yumi blood, as if it's been mixed with something. Ooh, um, but the other two do manage to hit. So yeah. let's see how much damage they actually do. Uh, one moment here. 
So, oh, you're actually very well armoured, aren't you? I am. I've got resilience 10. So, nice. So, they have AP minus one. Mm -hmm. um, and they only get plus one ED, but they got two sixes. Uh, would have been three, but you managed to stop one of them. Good old scrap <laughs> surfing. <laughs> And they get an extra one damage. So that does uh, 17 damage. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, they are firing as a group. Yeah. Um, so minus the one from your resilience, because they have AP1. A so that's nine off the 17 is... Oh, I'm so bad at maths. <laughs> um, that's eight damage that it would do directly to you. But you can roll determination against that if you want. I definitely will, because I only have seven wounds. <laughs> okay, then. So roll your determination. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so that's six and a four there. So that's three. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. So you only nice. take uh, four wounds and you take uh, three cool. shots. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> very bad um, okay but now that's their turn over and it's over to you guys again uh, if I may oh you, you may hit, you hit Iron God go ow <laughs> 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 oi you look stop shooting my friend and so I'm basically going to take uh, my snaz gun and basically just pump shots down into the skatari Go so ahead. Heavy Proper orky tech. Uh, rapid fire three. So I'm starting with a, a dice pull of six. Mm -hmm. uh, so how does this work for me? So for you, you're starting with a, a dice pull of six and you're in rapid fire range. I think that just gives you an extra three dice, but I'll double check that. Um... Yeah, it's uh, just extra damage dice. So you only have six to hit with, but this it's actually better because you've got a higher chance to do more damage. Okay. So let's roll and see what I get. Uh, so I get a six, a four, a four, and a five. Wow, so that'll be nice. four successes. Five successes, actually, because of the... Uh, their defense is two, so you can definitely shift any sixes that you have. Uh... Yeah, I'll shift the six to... What can I do with the shifting it on the attack? So it gives you a extra damage dice. Cool. So you're going to have that. two additional extra damage dice because of the rapid fire as well. Then, so. Okay, so... Three, three from rapid yeah. fire. Three from... Oh, god, gotcha. yeah. Well, so damage is 12. Uh-huh. Mm. Plus another three? Uh, no, so you got three from the rapid fire, and then for every six you shifted... You mm -hmm. add one to that and then roll that many dice. Mm -hmm. This is a complicated extra step. And then add that number on top from the result of your dice. Okay. Uh, so I get five and a six. So I've got three. Yep. So another three on top of that. Nice. And you have minus two AP on that as well. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, so that much damage will... So the two that are still stood up that have just unloaded on um, Iron God, like you spin up your uh, your snaz gun and you can feel it vibrating in your arms. Uh, and it's almost like <laughs> threatening to throw you off. And then it just fires this bizarre amalgamation of like rusted bullets and a strange like arcing electricity and completely riddles one of these Skatari with holes. You can see wires shoot off of him as they're ripped through and like spurting black liquid and then blood. Um, you can see chunks of flesh fly off. And uh, a lot of the bullets actually go through into the other one. You can see he's severely wounded as well. But um, one of them's dead and one of them is very hurt. Um, so... Uh, is that your turn? Would you like to then run away? Uh, I mean, I'm not exactly sneaky. I am going to be full on orky on top of the scrap pile, just laying in 
you know, screaming, laughing, <laughs> yeah. doing the full Very one. Nice. Very nice. Um, all right, great. So uh, the remaining three servitors are going to try and make their way up to you and attack you. Um, swinging their huge grabber arms to try and uh, smash you and your big powerful gun. Um, they have a weapon skill of five, and there's three of them, which means I roll seven dice. Okay, uh, defense of two. Defense of two. Let's see if they can manage this. Okay, they can manage. Uh, defense of two. <laughs> they can uh, shift one dice, um, and the servo arm is now nine plus three ED. So total damage is uh, the total damage is ten, mm -hmm. and uh, the AP is minus three. So it ignores three points of your armor. Okay, so I have an armor of two. Uh, so that goes down to zero. Mm -hmm. So, but you still get all of your resilience. So the five resilience is still there. Uh huh. So that means you would take uh, five damage, and okay. you can roll the termination if you want. I because I only have six wounds total. So my determination is four. I get uh, four and a six. So is that three successes on that? That's three successes. So that means you take only uh, two wounds and three shock damage. So you're a little bit more rattled, but you're still standing. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Hey, there you come from. <laughs> okay, uh, Snakecracker, it's your turn. Right. So how many of the Skatari are still uh, alive? One got knocked down and one was wounded? Yeah, one's been knocked down, one's been severely wounded, and one is dead. All right, well, we're going to do the sneaky uh, attack and uh, charge down, take out the one that's knocked on the ground. All right, okay, then. Snack uh, my power claw the whole way as I'm charging down. Okay, give me your um, attack roll, then. I'm going to say this is a charge. Yeah. So you get the bonus for that. See they didn't actually know you were there, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's a five so it's a weapon skill test right so five yes. plus one for charging plus one for charging okay looks like only three three yep. you're going for the skitar yeah yeah the one on the ground yeah their defense is only two so you still hit nice uh, so doing the damage, uh, it's a nine plus five dice for the uh, the ED on the power claw, if I read it right. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's right. And an AP of minus three. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> uh, we got a six on, six on the wrath die. Uh, oh. And then four successes, not including that six. So five successes, or five successes plus the nine, and then a six on the wrath. Oh. So I can shift. I don't, well, I think I've got to have to kill him, right? I hopefully do. Um, was this your roll? No, you can only, so if you roll a wrath critical on your roll to hit. Oh, all right, it's a critical hit, yes. Yeah, yeah, but this, this one, it just counts as a six, unfortunately. So when okay. you're rolling damage, your wrath dice just doesn't count as anything. Gotcha. Uh, so that would be then two, four, six plus nine damage then. Fifteen. Fifteen. An AP minus three. Oh. Okay. Well, you basically uh, shove the um, power claw through the eye on the floor. Um, <laughs> And as you snap it, you bring it up through the uh, already injured Skatari. Um, you cut both of them in half, but like at the same time. So you have two nice <laughs> Skatari halves in front of you. Uh, you have you have bisected them. They are dead. Brilliant. 
uh, yell, yell back to, to our mech boys, look, more scrap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bleedy bits in it. We don't want that. It's juicy as all. <laughs> all right, very good. Um, now it's uh, just the servitors left, and they are kind of left without leadership at this point. Um, usually this would be a point at which I would uh, make a resolve test for an enemy to have them run away. <laughs> but servitors... <laughs> they, servitors are very stupid. Well, not stupid. They have been effectively lobotomized, so they just mm. don't have the thought process to actually do that. So they are just going to attack again, and I believe they're going after you, Kushek, right? Yep. All right, okay then. So it's only these three... So let's see. One, two, three, five. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. And what's your defense? What's your defense, Krishna? Just two. two? Mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. they, they miss. They miss wow. they get a complication. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say one of the entire grabber arms just uh, in typical imperial technology fashion, it kind of clamps onto you and then falls off at the arm um, <laughs> and is rendered useless. Uh, that was their turn. <laughs> now you guys again. Seeing as I'm at the cool face, there's something I want to try. If it's okay. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, Krushak, what he's going to do is, seeing this arm fall off, he's going to giggle a little bit, take his SNAS gun, and actually aim at the base of the scrap pile where the servitors are all like standing on to try and cause like another avalanche to make them all. Ah. Drop. Very cunning. Kind of. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I really like that. Give me <laughs> a, um, just give me a straight ballistic skill roll and tell me what you roll, because this is effectively how smart can you shoot? <laughs> I, I think if there's a way we can spend some glory on this, we should. I'm happy to spend at least one to give me a Oh, seven. yeah, we've, we've got plenty of glory. So go yeah. yeah. All right, so that'll be seven dice. Ooh, spicy. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Wow. Seven, nice. Seven Wrath dice was a five. Nice. Well, it was going to be a DN of five. So you completely overtook that. And um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so you fire like <laughs> spinning wildly, and you can feel like not just the vibrations of your snares gun, but it's actually starting to leak some foul smelling liquid, and gas is starting to come off of it as well. Uh, but that just means it's working really well. Yeah. Um, and the, uh, the the scrap around you kind of forms into this avalanche, and you can, uh, there is no fear in the servitor's eyes. They just kind of crumble before you, sinking into this. You can see that um, one of them is actually like still trying to move through the scrap as it's falling around it. Um, and then very, very slowly, you see the, uh, the red augmented eye fade to nothing as the other two are buried around it. Um, you're not gonna get any scrap from those ones, but uh, they are definitely gone. And nice. a very sad existence has ended. <laughs> right, uh, stop, waste, stop wasting time. Let's still load up some more scrap. Let's get grabbing. All right, I'll say with that combat, you actually managed to um, grab everything valuable in this area without having to make another test like you're not under any particular scrutiny right now you managed to find enough good stuff from you know ripping eye sockets out of the skitari and uh, just rummaging through the scrap piles to uh, be about um so what did we say you were before you were like a quarter of the way quarter. through before yeah um, so now you're at least halfway through just looking at the actual uh, trailer that uh, Krushek made. Are we still kind of on like a, a pile of scrap a bit? Like, or is it all just leveled out? Uh, no, there's still piles. There's kind of okay. like hills of it. You can see a lot of discarded um, Imperial machinery. There's actually quite a lot of corpses in here as I well. Actually just want to 
climb to the top and look over and see how our uh, treacherous, traitorous pain boy is uh, doing. Certainly. Make a uh, awareness test, please. Will do. Okay, while that's happening, I think Krushak is going to just take a little bit of time to see if he can like Two, stitch three, up or maybe four. weld some of his damage. Uh, yeah, okay then. Um, do you have any Medicaid? Oh, it's going to be Medicaid quite of difficult. Medicaid of two. Let's have a look here. I think it's a DN3. Well, you're having like a little rest, I would say. Like it's, there's nothing difficult happening right now. You're not in any undue stress, and even an orc has to lick their wounds occasionally, thinking back on how much they enjoyed the fight that they had. <laughs> so, we we'll say you're having a regroup, um, and if you have a Medicaid rating, you can heal a single character's wounds during a regroup. They automatically regain a number of wounds equal to your Medicaid dice pool. So uh, if we say that um, Snackwrecker is kind of scouting around and having a look about, uh, Krushak, you can perform some Medicaid on yourself. And uh, Ergots, what would you like to do? Uh, Ergots, uh, it kind of like is like shakes himself off and like, oh, that hurt. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then he grins and then sort of looks down at all his wounds like, look what happened to me. Uh, he's, he's like doing what the... Um, he's been told, so he's going to try and find something more to scrap. So he's just, he doesn't really care about being hurt. He's just like digging through scrap piles, trying to find more for for the bobs. So, yeah, okay then. So, could you make me a, um, if you can make me an investigation test to yeah, find sure. something else good, um, Krusha, you will likely get those wounds back. And um, Snake Wrecker, what did you get on your awareness test? I got six successes, including a six on the Wrath die. Wow. So that's an additional glory? Uh, yes, it is. So you're up to four now? Oh, no, you just spent one, so you're back there to three. Yeah. Very good. So what you see from higher up is there are several more patrols kind of around. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, I had the wrong dice facing. It was a one on Wrath die. Uh-oh. Oh. Sorry. Oh. So it's uh, only two, four successes and one on the Wrath die. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh. All right. Okay, then. So as you kind of <laughs> <Sorry>. start, <laughs> as you start the climb up to uh, your vantage point, you actually kind of feel your huge metal boot kind of kick something a little bit squishy, and you look down and you see it's the the head of one of the Skitari. Um and you can see that the uh, the bionic eye is just kind of blinking in some kind of pattern. And you can still hear very faintly whenever it blinks a little bit of it. Um, and that is the the complication. Um, you, I mean, you think of that, whatever you think of it. And then you climb up to the top of the, uh, the scrap heap. You can see a few more patrols around you. It looks like there are some good opportunities to get some other scrap but there's definitely more Skitari and more Servitors around. Um, and you do manage to identify off in the distance um, basically what looks like uh, you don't see the pain boy. You don't see your friend, friend, Throck, but you do <laughs> see a bloody path of uh, destruction. You can see... Um, several servitors and Skatari with uh, missing limbs. And um, it looks like there's one in particular that you notice that he seems to have kind of left on a hill uh, in tactics that you think you might have taught him at some point, kind of uh, commando tactics where he's quite obviously grabbed it by the head and squeezed it as hard as he can while putting thumbs through the kind of eye. Oh, eye optics. Soft bits. Yeah. Ah. Boy learns uh, new tricks after all. Yeah, absolutely. So he seems to be doing okay. Uh, you can't really see him, but he's done a lot of damage. I'm going to okay. yell down that, uh, right, you lot, stop slacking off. We've got a full load. Let's get it back to the ship. Talking of that, I got no successes, but no one on my investigation. So <laughs> no one. <laughs> you did still manage to find a little bit more scrap. 
Um, I'm keeping track of how much scrap you've got, so don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> you'll know when it is full, and you definitely added a few good gubbins to it, and you also stuck some uh, spiky bits to the side of this wagon. Who knows if they'll stay on them, but they look cool to you. Well, I um, see. Hey, and as, as, I, as I go back down the hill, I'm going to put my boot quite squarely into that flashing red light that was a bit squishy and moving around earlier. Very good. Yeah, you feel a uh, satisfying wet and weighty crunch as your boot goes through it. Um, and you are free to do whatever you like. I'm heading back down to the, the bottom and uh, heading towards our little scrap wagon. Yeah, Iron Gob comes back to the scrap wagon with like, you know, like a well, the equivalent of like a tin can and flicks that in and sort of goes, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Right, like, where to more next, scrap. lads? More we scrap. Got, more scrap. We want more yeah. scrap. More scrap. Well, it look, looks pretty full right here. Unless we're going to slip some back ourselves, I think we're going to have to take this back and offload it. We could no. do. Uh, just um, from GFA, you'd be fine to load this up a little bit more. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, right. If we got all the good scrap here, let's let's take the next uh, pile of scrap. Uh, there's a heap that way. I'll follow you. To it. You're the mecca. Yeah, yeah. Follow the, follow the mecca boy. He knows what he's looking for. So, yeah. How would you like to tackle getting to the next pile of scrap? You could uh, uh, charge right in. Charge right in, or maybe... I'm going to uh, use Silent and move at full speed while moving stealthily to sort of like scout the area, and you two can follow behind me. I, mean, I exactly imagine what I'm going to the floor yeah. with the, the now loaded cart on my shoulders, just hunching along. Iron Gob's doing what he saw a commando do. Maybe it was a snack. <laughs> maybe it was snack. Uh, and he's doing, if anyone's seen Dune, he's doing the kind of like foot patterns in the scrap as he goes <laughs> oh, forward. Oh, very nice. <laughs> he's like, I've seen him do this before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I imagine an orc sneaking is more like Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he, he's trying to be sneaky, but, you know. <laughs> All right. Can you each give me a stealth test then, please? Oh. And uh, we will say that the complication is kind of worn off now for um, Iron Gob's complication. Uh, yes. Because they can't go on forever. Yeah. Uh, More terrible so things have to happen to you. We have to have a diversity of unique complications. <laughs> of course. Uh, I got three successes there. No, no, no big ones, no little ones. But I got one. There we six. go. And a glory. Jeez. Eight successes, and this time actually a real six on the Wrath die. Nice. Yeah, we're up wow. to four glory again, boys. Four glory. Very nice, guys. Okay, so um, following uh, Snack Wrecker's lead, you uh, again hunch, you're moving down the side of the dunes, and uh, Snack Wrecker and um, Iron Gob, they kind of guide you, Krushek, on like a, a sideways walk, but also in a way that kind of blends in with the scrap. Um, you can feel the uh, the eyes of your twin-headed god kind of looking down on you and saying, it's all, it's all right, you're cunning. Um, and as you go, Krushak, you manage to grab even more little bits of scrap and identify uh, off in the distance a uh, an area that seems to be less corpsey and more kind of uh, good mechanical things. You can see there are some very... Um, kind of long-legged, thin mech beasts that you've seen the the, the red-cloaked humies use before. Um, you can see like a variety of different um, tracked parts and cannonballs and things like that that you think would be very valuable. And crucially, there don't seem to be uh, any patrols in that area. So uh, the three of you managed to kind of guide each other, use stealth to get to... Uh, large area of scrap that you can now harvest. Uh, so what I'd like to do is have a look at some of the, the racked vehicles. See, just do they have engines in them that I could like mechanically get to work again so we can drive back and just take an entire tank back to the big boss? Mm. 
Uh, give me a, um, a tech test. Okay, so that'll be seven dice. Cross your fingers, lads. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I got one success, however. Oh, of course. <laughs> you only got one success. Do you want to yeah. re-roll? You could, yeah, you could use wrath uh, to re-roll. I have no wrath unless... Oh. Am I able to spend uh. other players' wrath? I don't no. no, I don't know if that's ever come up. I've only ever played with incredibly greedy people. Um, <laughs> it's just, I, I have seen a series where some fantastic voice actors have done a series of actually doing Wrath and Glory. Yes. I, I think we do allow each other to do it. I don't know if it's more of a house rule or I what. think it would be kind of cool. I think um, it's fine. I, I've actually played with um, Thurston from that group before. Yeah. As well, and I think he yeah. knows. Uh, I'll say, uh, I'll say, I'll say that Iron Gobs, as he's like following the mech's lead, I'll use my wrath and you can use my reroll. Then there we go. So, there we go. thank you kindly. Yeah. Iron Gobs is trying okay, to help. <laughs> <laughs> like it. From seven dice, I gathered one, two, three successes. Ooh. Better. And no one on the wrath. No, no, no. This time the wrath went, I might. Yeah. But I won't. <laughs> he got twice as good. <laughs> Um, with that, you do manage to find some engines. There aren't any that you would be able to successfully get running right now, but you find plenty of good gubbins to help to um, fill up your car. All right. um, but nothing uh, to kind of propel it on its own. Yeah, so I, Iron Gobs is just helping with all this, just diving into the scrap, putting things into the back that the mech tells him to. So, uh, you could make either a tech test or a weapon skill test to kind of. He's, he's going to do a he's going to do a weapon skill test because that's what he knows. <laughs> oh, a six on the wrath dice. Nice. Uh, nice. And then another six and a four, so that would be one, two, three, four. Five successes, which is pretty good for him. So. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are getting um, a lot of scrap. This thing is like three quarters of the way full now. Oh. Iron Gob is um, very happy with himself. <laughs> I am actually still going to be, because I don't want anybody out cunning at me. I'm still going to be keeping out for that pain boy because I'm getting a bit worried. He's a bit full of himself. He's going to like maybe try to take the his scrap back, get the ship going, and get up, and leave us behind, get all the glory for himself. So I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna keep a close eye out for any activity where he hit it. Uh, give me an awareness test. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> the last guy's gonna come and get us again. That's the. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Spoke too soon. Four, oh, four, four dice. Oh, it's self test in this one. Yeah, just to wear it. Oh, yes, nice. Uh, we'll call that a six. Got a six on the wrath, and that was it. So two successes, and then a six on the wrath. Nice. Six glory. Ooh, very good. Got a lot of glory at the moment. I know. I'm going to have to start using this. <laughs> yeah, 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 we do need to start spending it. So uh, what you see is, um, again, you can see kind of the continued path of destruction of uh, various body parts thrown around. Um, and some of them kind of uh, mismatched. You can see that it looks like the, um, the 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 pain boy has ripped some limbs off and stuck them on very roughly onto uh, other things. Again, in what looks like terror tactics to you. Um, but immediately something worries you, and that is the amount of kind of skitari and servitors that are running around, and they seem to be. Uh, coming towards you and your little group. Um, and as you look closer, you can kind of see the pain boy darting in and out of the scrap heaps and uh, running towards your group. Oh, he's That's heading towards us. Right. Yeah. Is, is, is he, is he, head, is he uh, behind or ahead the other uh, humies who are heading our way? Uh, it looks like he's he's definitely ahead of them. 
but it seems like they are tracking him. It seems that he's got a fair bit of distance between them, um, but he is covered in blood and isn't, you know, hiding his tracks particularly well. He's bringing the party to us. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, he's finally learned a bit. Gonna, gonna, gonna bring some fun, fun fight in our way. I'm gonna basically. Uh, yeah, what the heck? I mean, they're they're coming over. I'm gonna yell down. Say, All right, boys, another scrap. More scrap heading towards us this time. Uh, I'm going. Like by scrap, last- I mean yeah. killing. <laughs> I would like to make one last desperate attempt to get a vehicle running. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a tech test. As he does that, Iron Gob drops everything he was doing, pulls his shooter out and runs up next to the next to his, his lovely friend Snackwrecker and gets ready with his shooter to shoot whatever comes towards them. So. Right. Uh, just because I really want this to come off, I'm going to pop three glory into it if you guys are up for that. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. We got yeah. So that'll be a 10 dice test. We ain't um, greedy. <laughs> okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. We roll three. Six successes and no complications. Yeah. Right. Six successes and no complications. Um, you find... Yeah, I, I mean, it's... It looks like it's a really wimpy ATV, as far as you're concerned. That's right. Um, if you you think you could bash this thing into a, you think it would take you a little while, not too much longer than a few minutes, but you could bash this thing into shape to kind of carry the wagon and maybe two people, maybe three at a push. Um, but as you think that, you can kind of hear the the sounds of preparation for battle behind you. Um, would either of you two like to do anything else? Um, it seems like you're hunkering into this occasion. We can. Uh, uh, the approaching uh, uh, pain boy and the others, they're not within weapons range yet, I assume. Um, for your weapons, they're... Within full of my shooter, at least. Yeah, they're a little bit far. They'll be here soon. Like, he okay. will run into the firing line soon. By the looks of things, he seems to be being funneled towards you. Um, because, like, you guys are in the path back to kind of where you were, to the, to the lander. I... Iron Gob is basically sitting against like a big bit of metal that he's hunkered down behind. He's going to take both his stick bombs out of his belt. He's going to pass one to <laughs> the Gobby, the the ammo run that he suddenly remembered he has with him. <laughs> <laughs> is that not the one that went? <laughs> no, no, no that that well, just... who knows? Actually, Gobby could be any of them. They all look the same. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> Gobby, Gobby Mark now. Yeah. Gobby <laughs> Mark Eight. Uh, and so he's going to keep, he's got one of them ready. He's got the shooter in the other hand. He's like, when I need that, you give it to me, right? And he's just ready for the fight. So <laughs> It looks terrifying. Like his hand is on the, the exploder and he's just like, yes. Hey, yeah. Yes. Um, Don't totally give ready. Rod's explosive. Gonna, well, if we, if we got a few minutes, I'm going to do one quick search for anything particularly cool, scrap wise, that can throw onto the truck. Uh, and with a weapon skill test, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go on with the mad bodging. Uh, four successes, no wackiness on the wrath die. Um, yeah, you can find a little bit more scrap, it'll make it slightly easier for a uh, Krushak to get together something that could be used as a truck nice. cool. or a mini truck. And with um, that, I'm going to ready my shooter. I feel like we've kind of moved into a zone that's outside of the map that was designed for this encounter. So you've uh, set yourselves up um, ready for this enroaching horde of uh, Adeptus Mechanicus um, people who want to interrupt your scrap gathering campaign. (laughs) I think they think it's theirs for some reason. Um, We're bigger than they are. It must be ours. You are much bigger. 
Um, Khrushchev is over by what he, I am sure, hopes will be a truck very soon. And uh, <laughs> both Snackwrecker and Ergots are already set up for anything that's going to kind of intrude into your scrap zone. And we will say that um, since you've had a little bit of time to prepare, each of you can have cover when you're being attacked. Um, if you like, you can kind of hunker down. Um, I think you'll have a time to, and you've got enough experience in making avalanches of scrap that you can kind of <laughs> pull up a little area and um, crush Jack, you could definitely hide behind your makeshift truck as you're working on it. Um, nice. Just hope they don't hit the engine block. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're all set up, you see uh, coming around the corner into kind of the little area you've been working in, uh, Thruk Fiskuts. Um, absolutely drenched in blood and a few wires kind of hanging off him. You can see he's actually pretty wounded himself. Um, he kind of runs into the two of you, Snackcracker and Ergots. You've kind of got your uh, sluggers trained in him. He goes, help me, lads, help me. Only scrap. Uh, you can see he's kind of holding like a rough sack that seems to be made of um, sewn together squig hides uh, that he kind of says, of course I got scrap. I killed so many of them. Give it here. Uh, I'll scrap now. Mm. All right. I'll give it to you. Just let me come closer. Yeah, yeah sure. Get it. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to level my snaz gun at him as he's coming closer. Uh, he comes forward like at a reasonable pace, like still kind of hunched over. He's like, they're, they're right behind me, we know. But, like, they're going to... I mean, you want this scrap, there's going to be a bigger scrap behind us. We've got we've to gotta get out of here. I'm working on it, but let me see what you got here. It might help. He said, this, this is my scrap. I'm taking this back so I can get the glory. I'm going to be the big knob. Right. But if you don't give it to me and I need a bit or a gubbin from there, we won't get back at all. You zog. <laughs> that's, that's, that is a much better plan than you just hold it on to us and none of us getting off this rock. Give me a uh, intimidation check, Krushek. All right. So I'll get six dice. Is there a way I could assist just by, like, like, waving my power claw around? Oh, my God. What's your rank in intimidation? I'll oh, I have no help. ranks whatsoever in intimidation. It's probably rather uh, comical if I try to do it. <laughs> What's your rank in strength? Because you look pretty strong. No, just, uh, I have a rating of three in strength. Uh, okay, well, yeah, hang you can on. roll For... dice. There's my intimidation roll. Oh, <laughs> I think... <laughs> <laughs> no, no help needed. No help needed. However. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I am very intimidating, but there is a complication. He does it in a really high squeaky voice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got your snaz gun leveled at him and you're kind of giving it the big talk saying, I'll be able to get us out of here. And he kind of like shrugs, comes walking towards you and, and puts the scrap down on top of this um, this chassis, this imperial chassis for this vehicle. And as he does, the engine block just falls out of the bottom. Oh. <laughs> oh, there, there was me hoping for an accidental discharge and shooting him in the leg. Uh, no, he's fine. He did not own complication. <laughs> I thought one of maybe your jury-rigged uh, uh, patch-ups on your own self probably fell off or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you were well, flexing your muscles. He's going to take me a little bit longer to fix this. Hopefully, his gubbin bits might help. <laughs> well, let's see what's in the sack. Uh, he opens it up, and there is indeed a, a bunch of scrap. There's about um, half as much as was on your wagon. It's uh, it's mostly like weaponry. There's a few like just jars of liquid and just strange things um bits of body parts the kind of things that would interest a a pain boy rather than a mech but there's still a few like red. uh there's a lot of blood oh. i can work with that that'll help jobs jobs gonna be a good one 
<laughs> All right, anyway, I'm going to get back to work and just ignore him, try and get the, the engine back into my truck. All right, okay then. Uh, just as um, you can hear kind of uh, the, uh, the the hiss of static coming around the corner and just uh, you can briefly mench- uh, make out someone going, binary formations. Um, and uh, Thruk kind of runs over to you, Ergots, and uh, just injects you with a bunch of needles. Um, oh. <laughs> you regain ooh, three wounds. Oh, nice. well, that's all my wounds. That's great. Uh, nice. Ergots looks right, looks behind him and says, Ugh, and I was about to zog and smash your face in. Well, I'll do it later instead. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you stay in front of me, right? Yeah, that's how cunning works. I stay in front of you. All the better for me to stab you in the back. And then he pushes you forwards just as two um, Skitari kind of uh, round the corner and point their, um, uh, their long rifles towards you. Uh, and you can see climbing up over the scrap heap, there are two groups of three servitors. Um, and we will start combat. Who would like to go first? Uh, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll yes, go for I it. Yes, I think yeah? you should. Yeah, go yeah. for it. Uh, so I've got my shooter out. Um, ooh, do I do shoot or do I do a stick bomb? I'm going to do a stick bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. let's, let's let's show how grenades work. So yeah, so um, uh, Ergot looks down at his stick bomb, looks at uh, Gobby, and goes, "Be ready!" And then lobs the grenade at the uh, Skitari <laughs> with the guns because they're the ones that did him hurts hurt siege last time. So, <laughs> all right, okay then. So make me a ballistic skill check, please. Yeah. Six dice. Would folks mind if I used a glory just to throw something else into the wit? Oh the no, go for it. We got lots of we got lots. Oh no, we did spend a bit of it, didn't we? We've got two, two left. Uh, we have two three. Left. Three. Ooh, okay. Left. Three. I, 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 I've been keeping track. I can count to ten. <laughs> so I'll use, I'll use one of those then as well to give me an extra bit of a boost. Sure. So and I'll two. lob me stick bomb. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so that's six, six, five, four, four. Nothing on the wrath dice, unfortunately, but that's so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven successes. Nice. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, right, yeah, so that's going to hit and it's not going to scatter. So it's going to be centered on the target. Um, as we're working in mobs here, then the, the, the two Skitari that were hiding around the corner will also be caught in this blast because it's big enough. Big blast. Blast six, and, yeah. So. And then you can just roll damage while they attempt to dive out of the way. Yep. So, um, so the ED on this is five. So wow. I get five extra dice. And it does four damage anyway, so... Uh, so that's an extra three points of damage to that as well. So that's seven damage in total. And any AP? Uh, there is no AP on the stick bomb there. So. so is that seven damage in total? Seven damage in total, yeah. Against seven who, 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 whoever <laughs> deigns to be close to the grenade. Because <laughs> it's their fault, not mine. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to do a number on these four Skitari. So it looks like the, the shrapnel that explodes out of this, adding more to the dense scrap heaps around you. And it, some of it just like sticks into them. They don't necessarily dodge out of the way of the attack, but it seems like some of it's actually bouncing off of their mostly metallic bodies. They seem to take it without too much damage. Unfortunately. Um, and they are hardy. Curse them. <laughs> uh, um, I'm going moment. to. Uh, is still, is still us or back to them? Or it is a uh, better now. Okay. Oh, oh. Can I just say uh, you can? I'll, I'll utter to my to Gobby, seeing that the grenade sort of like exploded and did something, but not really knowing what. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say to Gobby, right, 
when you know what to do, you know what to do. Run in there, Govi, you got this. <laughs> and then that's the end of his turn. <laughs> That's very good. Now, if you actually want to, um, if one of you wants to interrupt the initiative order, yes. you can actually spend a glory to do so if you'd like to go before that. I think we should Honestly, do that. One I, of you guys I should do that. Yeah. It going at the end. You know, go, being, for it. Go, go for it, Snack Wrecker. Yeah. Are you going to burn one? Burn one. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. What would you like to do? You've got about uh, four Skitari that you can see in front of you. Um, there were two that were hiding around the corner, but you could see them diving away from the shrapnel. Um, so now they're all kind of exposed, and there are uh, two groups of three servitors coming over the scrap heap hill. Yeah. It, it's your, your ghost, Snack Wrecker. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, this is what you get for uh, not, yeah, zoned out. But um, I'm going to open up with my shooter um, on uh, probably the two lead Skatari uh, and fire salvo. All right, go uh, ahead. And six dice. So you add uh, dice for each salvo that you do, yeah. That was not good. Um, how many glory do we have left? Oh, we have for, uh, one on us. Uh, but you do have wrath if you want to reroll. Yes, I'll use wrath to do a reroll because I rolled uh, one for the wrath, of course, and only two successes. So reroll all the misses. Better. Uh, so a total of five. Successes, uh, nothing interesting on the Wrath Lie, with the Wrath Die. So five is definitely enough to hit the uh, Skatari because they have a defense of two. So if you've got any sixes, you can shift those over for more damage. No, nope, no sixes. All right, give me some um, damage. But I can't spend a glory to get more damage, right? You certainly can, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, right. Damage on the shooter on zero glory is... They are inglorious. <laughs> Your shooter damage is uh, 10 yeah. plus 1 ED. Yeah. So just one die to roll then, right? Mm -hmm. Two. Yeah, very good. So, okay, then. 13 and all together then with a plus one for the glory. Nice. You uh, managed to shoot one of the already injured uh, Skitari and the heavy metal slugs just go straight through its chest, punching a hole all the way through. Uh, you can see some little bits of blood dripping down and some of the trailing wires that burst out of the back. Uh, that's another one down. Well, the first one down in this fight. Nice. Uh, now the Skatari are actually going to try and shoot at you, Snapcracker. Um, oh! Seeing that you've done some damage. Um, cunning has its downsides. <laughs> 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 so one of the groups, uh, the group of two, because there's only one group of two left, is going to fire at you. Um, let's see how much they do. So its ballistic skill is eight. And then an extra one because he's in a mob. And that is uh, four. No, sorry, five. Does that hit? Uh, yeah, I've only got a defense of one. Oh no. So, yeah. Yeah. What does the what does the cover add to the does it add to your defense or does it, it does, add to your it adds oh, okay. to your defense? Uh, okay. okay, so yeah, that helps a little bit. That's good because it means you can't shift now. Ah. Um, yeah. So that group of Skatari can't shift, but they can still hit you. And they are going to do... Uh, then you get plus two EV. Um, so that's going to do uh, nine damage with no AP. Okay. Resilience of six. So just take that straight off. So it's just three wounds. Yeah. Um... 
Yeah, I've got seven altogether. I'll just take the three. Ooh. Yep. And Krushak, it's your turn. Uh, yeah, I'm basically trying to get the, the truck running. Uh, so if I can manage that, we can get out of here, boys. Give me a minute. <laughs> so the way the truck's going to work is it was going to be that you needed to make three tech tests to get it to work. But mm -hmm. because of the complication and the engine falling out, that's going to add another one on. Oh. Um, so it's three DN3 tech tests. Um, now, one feature of uh, combat in Wrath and Glory is that you can do as many actions as you want. So you could, if you wanted to, uh, do an action to start fixing this and then also do an action to shoot your snaz gun. And yeah. all you do is it adds plus two to the difficulty of both tests. So because it's yeah, a... No, I'm, I'm gonna focus. <laughs> <laughs> Out of wrath, out of glory. No, I'm, I'm, I am hyper focused orc. I, I, <laughs> I has my spanner. I is gonna make this work. All right. So first roll. I get one, two, three successes. Is that enough? That is enough. So you've got yeah. the engine back into this thing. <laughs> okay. And that's all I'm doing on this round is trying to get it to run. Okay. He wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the group, uh, the, the the mob with only one Skatari in it, um, because uh, uh, Snackcracker managed to kill one, is looking pretty lonely, and he's going to try and fire at Snackcracker. Oh! So, let's see if he hits. Oh, that's a lot of good dice. Um, <laughs> you know I hear that from a GM? <laughs> That's nine to hit. So you only have four, didn't you? Uh, for my defense? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two my plus defense. two from Copper. Yeah. All right. So it still hits, and they get to shift two over. Oh, I've thrown that dice on the floor, so I can't use that one. <laughs> that one's cursed forever. Um, <laughs> so it does a total of uh, nine damage. Uh, Brazilian six again, so taking three. Uh, yeah, let's try to, sh uh, to shift those to shock. He says yep. determination. Yeah, roll determination. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Determination. Where is that? Sorry. Your determination is four. Sorry, four? three. It's three. Roll three dice, and then maximum shock is four. Uh, Four altogether. Ah, okay then. Nice. So take four rooms off and take four shock damage. You've hit your max, so you can't do any more yeah. or else you'll be exhausted, but got rid of a load of damage. Cool. All right. So back to you guys, and it's actually going to be Throck, who is going to try and help you guys. What? <laughs> you intimidated him so goodly. Yeah. But he's going to run over to Snakecracker, and we'll see how he does on his Medicaid test. Two, three, four, five, six. Good old blood and... bag. <laughs> <laughs> he's successful, so you regain one wound. Okay. And because he's a pain boy, he can do that and attack. He's just not very good at it. <laughs> and shooting his little gun. He pulls out the slugger with his other hand while he jams a load of earthy syringes into your body. <laughs> and he does just manage to hit and slightly injure one of the other Skatari. Nice. Very good. Um, so now it is back down to uh, the servitors coming over the hill, and they are going to charge at uh, Ergots. Bring it on. <laughs> He says. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, how tough can they be? Um, let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. Oh. Well, that's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to like, curse, curse those dice. Curse the dice. <laughs> <laughs> 
And they are going to do, oh, no, wait, but actually they have minus two to that, so they can't shift over um, because they're a little bit clumsy, especially on this scrap heap. Ah, okay. Uh, so the damage they'll do will be only 2D. That's one. So they have minus three armor piercing, and they do nine damage. Uh, so my resilience is 10, minus three is seven, and they did nine, did you say? So yeah, that's so that's two wounds. So that's two wounds. That's fine. I can take that. Especially with all the drugs <laughs> pumped into my system. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last group of servitors are coming in um, from this team. And you can even hear now that there are more and more servitors and Skatari coming over the hills. Um, they are making their way because it seems as though Thruk has alerted everyone that you did. <laughs> of course. Uh, they're going to run over and they're also going to go for Ergot's Iron Gov. And sure. Do, 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 do. Uh, only two to hit. No, oh, that is my defense. Okay, so they just make it, but they're not going to be able to shift or anything like that. So, yeah, same thing. Um, nine damage, AP minus three. Cool. I'll take the other two. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take the two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back around to the top. It's your guys' turn. Do you mind if I go first and try and kill some of these servitors? How are we doing on the truck? Oh, yeah, how are we doing uh, on the truck? Yeah. So we got one success there the last time, so we passed that test. How many more do we need, Zach? Need two more. Yeah. Uh, I need three more. Oh, three actually. more. Three three more. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unless you do really, really well. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get the truck. I, th I think we need to get the truck going, and then depending on how that turns out, that will probably determine if we need to fight another round or if we all just jump on the truck and start zooming out of here. Right. Okay. Okay. We'll let you go first then, Mackie. <laughs> oh, Don't on. screw it up. <laughs> well, clearly now I'm just definitely going to screw it up. <laughs> uh, let's Don't, see. don't screw it up. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four? Four. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a pass. Okay. Nothing wacky on the wrath dice, thankfully, although it, it did... Tease me a little by going too. Oh, uh, it's awfully close. Uh, yeah, you've managed to uh, wire up a bunch of other bits. Um, you've got the spikes on, which you know is important, but it's still quite an early step. You're eyeing up your bucket of red paint that's definitely not blood, and you're thinking it's almost time. It's almost time, but not quite. We still need to put wheels on. You might as well have a go at shooting your gun as well. No, because then that first test would have been a plus 2DN and it would have been... Oh, two. yes. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, God, you can. Yeah, the plus 2 can so, be very dangerous. That is true. Oh, yeah. it, yes. Especially because we're out of glory. If we'd still had some glory and I could have just been feeding dice into this, I might have risked it. I just built a massive pull for this, but no, unfortunately, we cannot. So that is my go done. Mm -hmm. just frantically bolting and just welding at pace. All oh, right. Uh, back around to the Skatari, and the one who's kind of on his own, uh, who is seeing, you know, orcs, is going to have to make a um, resolve test, or else he's going to have to regroup with some of his other people. So let's roll resolve for him and see how well he does. I've oh, got a lot of dice for this. Oh, only two and one's on the floor, so I just rolled another one. <laughs> he just makes it, so he is going to fire his gun um, at uh, Snake Wrecker because it's going to be really difficult to hit uh, Ergot's Iron Gob in amongst like six servitors. He might bounce one off one of them metal domes. And um, so let's see if he can hit. Uh, that only, that's only a two. So it bounces oh, off the cover. Yeah, with the cover, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That's that's their turn. Uh, back around to you guys. Uh, uh, well, so if we're not leave our, uh, so we look over, see the truck is like the engine's turning over. Uh, like it feels like it could be mobile. 
It doesn't have any wheels on there. It doesn't have any wheels. Okay. We're halfway there. We're living on a prayer. Do you mind if okay. I go past a crack at these uh, tools? No, no, no. You definitely need to attack <laughs> first. Go for it. I go like, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, cool. So it would be six, but uh, it's a warg weapon. So I oh, was sorry. I'm using my chain chopper. So it goes up to seven. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I'm not charging. So I didn't get the bonus there. It is my, what's it called? Is this my trademark weapon? I don't know. It is your, uh, trademark, your trademark weapon. weapon. I think is your iron gob. Oh my iron gob. Okay. Or maybe uh, it's your your spitting axe blade of death. Uh, my my chain my chain chopper does more damage, so I'm sticking with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. So that would put me up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice, which sounds like a lot, which is perfect. Cool. Right. <laughs> uh, yes, and I'm wounded. Which yes. Does something as well, which means I do extra damage with this afterwards. So yeah. Right. If I hit, of course. So yeah, yeah. we get some servitors. They have a defense of one, so I think you're going to hit. Oh, <laughs> God damn it, Zach. <laughs> I'm going to roll zero. Right uh, uh, oh, I got a crit on the wrath dice. Ah, oh, so you've rolled right. a critical. I have rolled it. So uh, just to tell you how many successes I got, I got a six on the wrath dice. I got two more sixes, put me up to two, four, six. Then I got five, four, four. So that's... What was that? Six, seven, eight. I got nine results there, which is amazing. Eight. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Really good because you're fighting a mob. Those extra points yeah. will actually count. Mm. So let's roll on the criticals table. Uh, oh, yes. I can find it. So roll <laughs> D66. So one dice is your kind of tens unit and one dice is your... Uh, cool, so that's 66, weirdly 66. enough. 66? Yes. Wow. I, 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 rolled, I rolled double six again. <laughs> so, nice. So you did a grisly amputation, which I feel like you might have done anyway with this hit, but this yes. is particularly grisly. The foe's limb is removed with extreme prejudice, leaving their body in a crimson arc. Um, the target suffers a mortal wound and a limb is destroyed. Oh. Uh, roll 1d6. Three. Three. On an even result, the activating player may choose the limb. On an odd result, the GM chooses. I oh, choose. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be an arm and it's going to fly off and hit another one of the servitors. Um, <laughs> so, with that roll, can you just tell me how much damage you actually did there? Okay, so I only need to get one to hit, right? That was yes. Yeah, so you can like, shift all your sixes. So, I, so I'm going to shift the three sixes into damage dice. Mm-hmm. I would already, I would already get four extra damage dice anyway for the chain chopper, and I get one because I'm wounded, <laughs> and I get one because of oh no, the plus one damage for the chain chopper's for afterwards. So I'm going to roll an extra one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage dice. <laughs> so it, it already does nine. So <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 plus one for the, uh, for the change up. So 14 damage in total. Damage total. Yeah. Okay. Let me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's bad. Who knew that a chain chopper could be so damaging? <laughs> oh no, wait, this is brutal. This is yes. oh, oh, yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, brutal. So uh that was my that what was it? A four, five, and a five. So it was so the four so what was it? The fours with the uh what is it? Lots of one and two uh, in there. Your heads, so fives and sixes are doubles. Okay, so two of them were doubles. So I said what was it, 14 damage? So mm-hmm. actually add another two onto that, so that's 16 damage in total. 16. Yeah. Okay, let me just do some quick math here. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's lovely, but is it, this is like Orc Ballet. <laughs> it, it really is. Uh, there, was, there were three attacking you from one side and three attacking you from the other. And um, if you could see all of this through one of the red bionic eyes, you would see an Orc... <laughs> And then three servitors behind it, and then just one swing and no servitors, and then nothing <laughs> as you kill four of them in one oh. fell swoop. Uh, crouching Gretchen, hidden orc. And you don't manage to <laughs> land a scratch on the others, but there are three that you just go through the middle of. One of their arms flies off, hits another one in the face, oh. and then you just grab it and jam it in it even further until you squish the servitor okay. completely. 
It and because horrific and, display. And because I rolled a six on the, the attack there, does that also give us a glory as well as it being a critical? Mark. Yes. Okay, so we, we have nice. as a group we as a group we have one glory now. There you go. Nice. <laughs> so Very there's much. oh my god. I and and at the same time, Iron Iron Gob looks down at his friend Gobby and says, You know the time. <laughs> <laughs> what is he holding now? Is he still holding a grenade? He's holding a yes. grenade. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean I know like with a display with a display that impressive, he just goes, ah, yeah. And just pulls the pin off of it Perfect. and then looks at you expectantly and is like, ah, Bro, <laughs> do you where do you point? Uh, he he's in such a frenzy, he points at whatever the nearest enemy is that's not right next to him. So, okay, <laughs> you see the grot just kind of uh put it forwards and then run towards the Skitari as if he's gonna Perfect. hit him with it like a claw, just poking him with a sick bar. Yes. And uh, it goes around the corner and you hear an explosion and you can only hope that he's survived. Um, good old Gobby. <laughs> good old Gobby. We hardly knew ye. <laughs> um, okay, then. Uh, with that, then it's the, the remaining servitor's turn. There's only two of them left. Um, let's see. Would here. anyone like to make an interruption? Because we have a glory. Oh, we have a glory. Um, I could run up and try to chop up with my power claw. Or at you least one of them. Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. I will charge up with uh, an uh, attack. Um, so there's two of them, right? The one who's been like just past his resolve test and then just another one. So there, there's um, or a mob of two. Skitari. There's a mob of two Skitari, a, a single Skitari on their own. And there are two servitors that are still attacking ergots. Um, and all of these Skitari are just kind of getting their weapons ready. And it looks like they'll probably fire at you, yeah. Oof. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll attack, I guess, the one who was is just by himself. Um, try to take him yeah. out. Go for it. I'll uh, let you charge on this one. Yeah. Uh, so uh, dice pool, I'm wounded. Uh, that's oh, that's extra damage dice. So five. Oh my goodness! Uh, two, four, six, seven, four, eight successes. Nothing on the uh the wrath die though. Any sixes? Because these guys only. Oh have God! Yes, I have three sixes. No, oh. these guys have a defense of two, so I think you'll be able to shift all of those. Yes, let's shift all those. <clears throat> uh, so for damage, um, five dice plus one for being wounded. So six altogether. Uh, oh, two, three, four. So four plus seven, so 11 with minus three AP. 11 nice. with minus three AP. Gosh. Um, <laughs> oh, and uh, brutal as well. Did I build that in? I probably built that in already. Yeah. Okay, that is definitely enough to... You. So, basically, you run up um, the, the, base, the, the cover in the valley of this trash valley, and you fall and land on the head <laughs> of the one that was already injured. And I'll say, because the mobs were close enough together, you land on that guy crushing him and just reach out with your um, your power claw batting away the the arms of another one and just snip his head off. Nice. Oh. Or scrap. <laughs> so there is one slightly injured Skitari left and uh, two Servitors left. The one that is right in front of you is going to um, pull out. Do they have anything? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> the bureaucracy of the administratum have failed at last. Uh, once again, they have failed to equip their soldiers. The uh, Adeptus Mechanicus Skitari were not issued any melee weapons. <laughs> so, <laughs> this was just yeah. supposed to be a recon job. It was supposed <laughs> to protect the scrap. What, um, is the, 
Mealy, you speak of. <laughs> He's going to try and um, effectively uh, get out of the way. He's going to run from you. I don't know if that means he can be attacked. You can reflexive attack him, I believe, yeah. yes. you can yeah. reflexive attack him as he tries to move away. Yep. So would you like to do so? Uh, yeah, I, th- I think that's that's a good idea. What do you all think? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No uh, survivors. He notice he's just in the bellies of the beast. Right, okay then. So, yeah, make an attack. Oh, cool. hey. um, ow. Uh, so only two success. Oh, then I got the one for being wounded. Oh, that's damage. Never mind. Uh, so only two successes and a one on the wrath die. Oh, okay then. Um, is there a complication that you would like to do? Um, because two does hit. I have some pre-prepared complications for weapons here, but if you want to make one of these, yeah, it could be that the power claw is uh, maybe all the blood is getting into the, the mechanisms and it's getting a little Dumb sticky. <laughs> How it's not quite coming together. How about this? Could you roll damage for me? Because this guy's already wounded. Yeah, that's true. Let's do that. Uh, so five plus one for wound. Well, actually, that's a separate one to do for that. Uh, three, four, and a six on the brutal, which is like good number. Uh, five, six, that's two more damage. So two, three, four, five. Five damage plus, uh, what's the power claw? Seven. So 12. And it's a minus, minus three, three AP, yeah? All right, okay, so what happens is, um, as this guy kind of, you can see the calculations going through his brain, and uh, the Omnissiah does not favor him today. Um, <laughs> and you, as he kind of tries to back off, you just lunge out with the power claw again and snip through him, and then you realize this is actually a big success. My entire claw is now scrap. And this guy is stuck in it. Oh. <laughs> but I cannot use my claw anymore. Oh. Unless it's going to take you, you're going to have to make some kind of effort to get it out, or perhaps go see a mech. But um, yeah, your power claw is not going to be very useful for a little while. It's, it's done its job well. I'm busy. Oh. I can't see you till next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay then, so uh, that was their turn. You guys have all had a go, yeah? Yes. Yes. Um, which yes. means that it will be Thruk's turn. Good old pain boy Thruk. <laughs> uh, Thruk's actually going to run over and uh, try to help you, Krushak. And he's just like, what, what do you, how do I heal this machine? Um, oh, how to do this? Just hand me my biggie spanner. I need me spanner. <laughs> Stupid paint boy t- takes the red paint, paint it red. So can get, yeah, paint it, paint it red now. Paint it. Make it go faster. Yeah, yeah, I've got, yeah. It. I've got it. Faster now. And um, he's going to be helping you on the next round. He's also going to try and helping shoot. you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all the servitors, you killed them all, didn't you? Yeah. No, there was the one... There's one the, servitor left. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, there's two servitors left, because you only killed... You only killed four in your battle. Oh, yes, sorry. There's two, <laughs> there's two servitors left. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, he's going to shoot at one of them. Um, uh, he was in close combat with... Uh, oh, with this I could go. be dangerous. Yeah, let's, let's hope he doesn't miss. Yeah, he could possibly be trying to to kill a few of us while he's helping. No, no. What makes you think that this guy would betray you? <laughs> uh, he does, in fact, miss. But it's not a complication, so I don't. Think <laughs> you. Now shoot me, truck. <laughs> yeah, complications could have been really fun. Give it his last complication. No, yeah, it's all fine. He doesn't actually manage to shoot. Oh. Um, everything is okay. So, <laughs> back to the top of the round, you see 
Um, coming around the corner again, another group, uh, two teams again of two Skitari, um, and another two groups of three servitors are mounting the hill and coming in to get, but it's the start of the round again. That was them getting here. Um, you can hear shouts and more machinery kind of being engaged. Um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, should I try and fix the truck with the help of the PN boy? Give it a shot, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, in fact, is there's anything else? Well, I can't help at all, but yeah. Whatever we can do, let's get this Zoggin truck going. Oh, oh, hello. Extra three bonus dice. Oh. Okay. Well, so far, the dice gods have decided to be nice. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. There you we go. got a glory. <laughs> yeah. And that's before I add the additional three. And they will add <laughs> uh, they will add two more. Cool. Nice. That's ten successes with a glow. Ten successes. Whoa. So nice. more than double nice. what you needed. So we, I'm gonna say that clears up both of the last uh engine things okay. that you needed to do. <laughs> This thing is, it's, it goes from that and then slowly gets throatier and throatier as like black smoke erupts from each part of it. It's shaking, it's rattling, it stinks, but it stinks of victory. You think? Nice. Sounds, sounds right like in. a proper orky Get vehicle. You the Get you the truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was your go. It is time for the um, Spitari. Um, I just got a ping that wasn't in this, was it? No. Sorry, I thought I had a check message. No, I heard it as well. Oh no, so, that, yeah. that's that's probably from me here. <laughs> that's one of the binary bings from the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was the tr- <laughs> that was the, the sound of the servitors of the Skitari. Yeah. Um. So. These uh, four Skitari are going to pull their resources and all try to shoot um, uh, Ergots as they see him as a massive threat to their <laughs> services and are just an <laughs> optional recycling pad plant for them now. Um, and they are going to fire their radium carbines. So that's going to be uh, so four of them. And they have a ballistic skill of eight. I am in combat, so they screwed this up. They could kill their own servitors, but <laughs> we can hope for the best. I don't actually have enough dice for all of them. I'll have to roll this one as well. Um, oh, no! <laughs> okay, they actually did roll a complication. Okay. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> sad for me. Uh, <laughs> there's so many of them, though. Yeah, that's like... Okay, I'm going to have to roll the damage and see if any of them manage to... They're going to kill the servitors. I can <laughs> tell just by the way the damage is going to shake out. But we'll see if any of them manage to clip you with a couple of shots. Because it's four of them unloading all at yes. once. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, okay then, so this is going to be seven, five... They don't have any extra qualities, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, four plus ten. Okay, it's only enough to kill one of the servitors. Boo! <laughs> Worst shooting, come on! But basically, they just riddled this thing with shots, and you can almost feel the radiation coming off the bullets from the other side of it. Like it is hissing <laughs> and fizzling. Like this vat grown, vat grown flesh is just melting in front of you. Um, it's your guys' turn again. The truck is ready. Oh, uh, so I'm still engaged with two servitors, am I? I think I am. One, I just, are, yeah. just oh, just one now, actually. Just one just now. One, yeah. Just one now. Well. I mean, unless anyone has any objections, I think I should. <laughs> I think I should. Okay. Yeah. I I will. I, I need to kill. I don't want this guy to. Hit. I, I can't let this guy beat me. So I'm. I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick his ass. Uh, so I'm going to chain chain chopper this boy into oblivion. Nice. Four, five, six, one. Oh. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine successes there. Shift those things if you can. So I mean, I'm, defense of one still. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I had the three sixes there, so I'll shift all three of those sixes into damage. Once again, we'll do a lovely old big bucket. I won't get into maths <laughs> again. To <laughs> no, you're already doing. What's the what's one hit of this? There's nine anyway. No, oh my! Uh, so it's a nine plus another because of brutal. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen damage to the servitor. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. we got some, some more blood to paint the, uh, the yeah. vehicle with. It is not need it. Uh, <laughs> so Iron Knob will cut that one to pieces rip it and then because you could move as well can't you so you're going to peg it back towards the truck yeah you'll be able to get onto the yeah. truck in the same turn cool. that's absolutely yeah. fine so you bisects it and then runs to the truck <laughs> nice alright the remaining servitors are going to try and uh, the new ones that have just come over the hill are all going to try and um well, the three of them have the claws and three of them have uh, heavy bolters built into them. So no, those three are going to try and shoot um, uh, Snack Wrecker. No! Uh, they the <laughs> heavies for this bit. Oh, my. Um, you got this, Snack Wrecker. Remember me, lads. <laughs> What's your defense? You're out of cover now, so it should be two now, right? Uh, it's a one plus if I'm still in cover. Which I did oh, charge out of it, so I think it's just a one. Jeez. Okay, then. Uh, here we go. Fortunately, they are terrible shots. <laughs> Unfortunately, they still rolled one six. That's <clears> all, yeah. So they're going to hit with a heavy bolter. Um, oh. So AP minus one. And dealing 13 damage. Oh. Ouch. Uh, that's not good because I'm already maxed out on shock. Um, 13, I'm taking, uh, minus one. So that is more wounds that I can take and I can't determine determination any of that away because I'm already maxed out. You are now dying. It's pretty bad, but fortunately, orcs are quite tough. And in the 41st millennium, Everyone gets pretty close to death every now and then. <laughs> so, now that you are dying, uh, you do fall prone. Could you roll a d6 for me? A one. A one. You get a uh, battle scar, and I think you've already got quite a few of those. So what we'll say yeah. happens is, um, as the, uh, the the heavy bolter bullets rain into you and they're exploding all around you, you put up your regular flesh hand to defend yourself. Uh, and as you do so, you manage to actually catch one of the bolts, which for a moment seems like a fantastic idea, until it explodes. <laughs> and all of the fingers are just removed from your hand. So you have that as a memorable permanent injury now. Oh. Maybe Krushak can help you when you get Perfect back Perfect for another power claw. <laughs> that, that, that's a spicy can of Red Bull someone's thrown into your hand <laughs> uh, yeah that was their turn so you are prone and while you're dying you can only take one of the following actions on your turn you can crawl, you can take a basic combat action or you can fall back and uh, falling back basically says you can use your movement without suffering reflexive attacks from engaged threats um, but you might as well just see if you can crawl back to the truck. Yeah, I'm going to try to crawl crawl onto the truck if they just crawl near the truck, yeah. Uh, I think you'll make it about halfway there. You can make an athletics test to try and pull yourself further. Sure, but let's do that. Do you risk the possibility of uh, taking a traumatic wound if you roll a complication? Uh, let's go for it. Okay. Uh, hey, that's not bad. Four successes, nothing on the wrath die. Yeah, you've managed to crawl your way to the uh, truck. It's quite a, a horrific sight with one claw with a mutilated corpse in it that's jammed shut and one hand that is just stumps instead of fingers. It's traumatic. It's, it, it's inspiring leadership. Yes. 
It is inspiring. And what's most inspiring is that Krushak actually made a truck in the middle of a battlefield. And so he actually gains one raft. I forgot hey, to speak that well at the time. Done. But well, yeah, that's well. definitely something that should gain you a raft. I like the idea um, that I, when the heavy bolt shots hit uh, Snake Wrecker, and there was just like this mist of blood and green, Iron Gob was like, he's so stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> he turned into mist. <laughs> and then he saw him crawling towards him. He was like, oh, I, oh no, there. I do kind of disappear in a, in, yeah. a, in a mist of red. So yeah. it's like a perfect little stealth cloud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like the world's weirdest Where's Waldo. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, no, as I climb up, I'm just going to shake the power claw that's got the like the, the gore all over it and everything. It's like, let's get this truck going. All right. Okay. And so the last group of three servitors is going to open fire and try and shoot uh, Krushak and see if they can damage the actual vehicle while they're at it. <laughs> no. Go. So that's enough for three of them. Um, oh. Uh, that is four. What's your defense? Uh, it is two, but oh, I would like to spend my wrath to make a narrative declaration. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to spend it to declare that I am actually inside the truck, and I would hope that will grant me cover. That would certainly grant yeah. you full cover, I would say. You'd build it in a way that it would. You don't want to get shot. Well done. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. I think that's a good use of the wrath point I earned for making yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We, we, we can't have the driver die. <laughs> all right, that's all so, of them. Um, well, that's, I would do on the fence too, and then what's full cover? Full cover's plus two. But I think in terms of the narrative, like that will just be bullets flying around you. You've got okay. this truck working. Um, okay. With Thruk's turn, Thruk is going to run and jump on the truck as well. And we'll try to uh, heal you, Snake Record. Let's see if you can do so. Okay. I'm going to hold a, that, what's that gory power claw, just at the ready, just in case things go bad. <laughs> Taking you down with me. <laughs> I mean, one of the effects of the Doc's bag is if you roll a complication, it does do damage. But fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, you didn't, and you actually regain one wound. Nice. And are no longer dying. You've got no hands, but you're not dying. So oh, I've got I've got a perfectly good claw. It just needs yeah. to be cleaned a little bit. You've got a yeah, claw. You know, these guitar and, and, I've, and I've got a good punching stub yeah. ready to go <laughs> punching people one with. Personal bit of scrap. Yeah, but no one's getting out of your house, out of your claw. Yeah, I could personally deliver that scrap. You bet. Absolutely. All right. Okay, then it's the top of your guys' turn, and you are in a truck. Yeah, it is time to leg it, boys. So I'm gonna like smash the cabin with my stump. Yep. Krushuk is literally just putting it into gear and driving the hell away from everything. Your truck only has one gear because you made it in, <laughs> in, in the middle of a scrapyard. And the gear is go. Go flat. <laughs> yes, yes. This, this is why it's red ish. Yes. yes. Oh, it's very red. It's wet, but red. Yes. Um, I'll just give us a nice streak effect. Exactly. Yes. yes. We could get the streaking uh, red as in the after trail. Yeah. So I, I, uh, I think. Disengagement time, get away from all the Skatari and head for the landing craft. Oh, uh, we could. Uh, do we have any glory left? Uh, no, I don't think so. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> and so you do oh, sorry, see, kind of shifting. You do streak away as fast as you possibly can, which is pretty fast. Um, the servitors that were behind you and the Skatari. Actually, pretty much, they disappear in a, cl in a billowing cloud of smoke. As you and know. red paint and, and red and paint. <laughs> the red paint is just like a speed line that follows behind <laughs> you as you rock it out over the desert. Um, you manage to get all the way uh, back to the lander, um, uh, but as you do so, you kind of hear a <laughs> behind you, and you can see 
three kind of like bat winged mechanical pods have lifted up out of the air. Um, and I think we'll call it there as yeah, you've managed to get know. back yeah. to the lander. But nice. um, I think getting home with your scrap might not be too easy. <laughs> Yeah. As uh, the Archaeopters are on your tail, and um, yeah. at the very least, you are going to bring Warboss Vazdruk Spiky Smasher a really good scrap. Oh, and yeah. Some really good scrap. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like you to... know, I, I know it has a personal truck, which I will exactly. work with. Yeah. You have you both your own. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So this is all great because Snickrack is going to get another power claw, which is yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Rust of us has got himself a truck, and yeah. I like to think that Iron Gob, stand only, if an orc could cry, a little single Feels tear good. goes down goes down his cheek, and he goes, "Poor Gobby, he was only little." And then he sees another grunt next to him and goes, "Oh no, Gobby, you're fine." <laughs> 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 I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of getting last at a Mohican vibes. Just you're in the yeah. back of the truck, seeing us driving away from the fight, just like <laughs> you're running down, like we're not getting to fight no more today. Well, there we go, oh, guys. Fabulous. Yeah, that was really good fun. Um, as you can see, we played as orcs in this one, which was absolutely fantastic. Thank you once again, Zach, for running us through that. Thank you, Tim, yes. for joining us there as a fantastic orc comrade. <laughs> uh, Justin, some inspired work with your mechanics. Um, I believe you're actually going to be well. We're actually going to be able to play. Well, people are going to be able to play this adventure themselves, aren't they? Uh, in the, in the near future, which is pretty cool. So, yes, yeah. depending uh, on how badly we went off the reels. Well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to play it yourselves and find out. Um, exactly. Yeah. And hopefully lose less fingers in the process. <laughs> True. True. Well, uh, we yeah. see, uh, yeah, building building our own vehicle to make our escape. I think it's a pretty high bar for other groups pretty inspired. To, uh, to try to achieve. <laughs> um, so yes guys if you're interested in Wrath and Glory make sure you go and check it out from the guys at uh, Cubicle 7 you don't just have to play Orcs although why would you not want to uh, yes. you, can play, you can play all sorts of different things you can play Inquisitors you can play Space Marines you can play Hive Scum you can even play Eldari and all sorts of things in there as well it's absolutely fantastic you can see the book the, the core book behind me there if I can point in the right direction there we go <laughs> uh, so yes uh, awesome and there's one oh, there we go yeah 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 us there um, so yes, if you want to dive into the grim dark future of the 41st Millennium and play as actual real characters within one of the 40,000s, then you can definitely do so with this game. Uh, we're going to move on. I'm sure we'll be back with Cubicle 7 for another Let's Play very soon. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of our adventure, and we'll see you guys very soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.